Hey. I can't hear you. Hold on. Say something. I can't hear you. Hey, James. What up? I can hear James. I can't hear you to hear. Jesus. This is a blowout. Still no volume? Testing, testing, testing. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, man. I was like, come on, bro. Don't do your boy like that. James, I can't see you, though. I know. I'm trying to, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm working on my lighting. <laughs> you like you on the run. Oh. Uh, I don't know who's in these YouTube streets, you know? Oh, that's, that's better. That's better. Hey, what's up, everybody? Um... I think Billy's coming in, and uh, but Billy, I know he has to do another show, so I don't know how long he's gonna actually be able to get here or stay here. Um, Fuck them busy. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna get it we're gonna get it popping though. Uh, and I think Pat's gonna come up too. Let me just check and make sure. Uh, there he is. What up? What up, Billy? What up, baby? What up, right, Billy? What's going on with you? What's up? I'm coming in there in just a second. We want to see your face. <laughs> I'm coming up. You're going to see my face for such a long time, bro. God, man. James. <laughs> Lou. Your face, bro? You got to do like females and just have the phone up facing the ceiling. And then when we feel ready to let you know what's going on, then you then you flip it up. Yeah, okay. One more thing I'm doing, bro. Jesus Christ, bro. Fucking Joker's here. You know, baby Joker's here. Joker. <laughs> You, 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 man. Yeah, man. Hey, let me tell y'all something, y'all. Yeah. Y'all make y'all make me famous every day. I'm gonna tell y'all why. I get to tell people I know y'all. Oh, that's what's the, crazy. Shut the when fuck they ask me, let me tell you. Man. Let me tell you what happens. Oh, see man. your eyes. I don't even believe none of this until I see your eyes. You gonna see my eyes. You gonna see my eyes. <laughs> my. Uh, see my eyes. You gonna see my eyes, cuz. We gotta moisturize, bro. Now you know we just we just came out of goddamn uh Beirut with this fucking roast this uh cast. So you know you gotta be on there ugly as fuck at all as possible on that motherfucker. Cause you know, any signs of me looking like I even put on lotion that day, them <laughs> niggas is on my ass. I would think it'd be the opposite. I would think you would wanna like look swaggy and a little clinked up. Not on, not on rose disc. It's a different. It's a yeah. Because if you look too clean, it's gonna come out. Well, like, see, for me, that's what it is. Because they looking for any type of of like uh, uh, light skinnedness to to attack. I had to damn near be in that bitch. Like I'm about to be in an alley in Brooklyn, nigga. Like really, no matter is, what you what's do, good, you're nigonna nigga. be light skinned. You gonna be light skinned no matter what. Like you she can't just, tone it she down. Don't, she don't understand. <laughs> you can't tone it down. I don't give them niggas it's no a, it's no it's shooting a different type of thing. Well, listen, let's let's go ahead and jump into it, man. Um, we are live on another episode of Zooming with the Homies, man. Um, super excited about the show, man. Got some great friends on here. Got somebody on here that I dropped the ball on last week. And so I'm going to start with this young man first and foremost. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage right now. Uh, one of the funniest people to do it. One of the most approachable, humble guys I've ever met in the city. And honestly, if you wanted to be an asshole, he could because he's that talented. Uh, you might have seen the show on Comedy Central, Hood Adjacent. Um, and just just all around funny as fuck, man. And again, last he was supposed to be on the show last week. I mean, yeah, last week I dropped the ball on Thursday. He was like, huh, don't see my picture on that flyer. <laughs> oh, that's how it works, huh? That's how it works. <laughs> but I also want to point out, my nigga left me on red for three weeks. And that ain't that's James, yo. <laughs> James don't never text you back, yo. James don't oh, never no. text oh, no. you back, ever. Oh, no. We're going we gonna to talk about it right now. Uh, <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, we have James Davis on the motherfucking show. Make some noise. Yes, Mamba Day. 
Mamba Happy Day. Mamba Day. <laughs> my Lakers, my, my Lakers, they, they whooping ass right now. It's, it's, it's a good thing. Yeah, looking mm. good. Now back mm. to this thing about James leaving me on red. <laughs> I aired myself out. I gotta air James out. James left me on red for about three weeks. I, I was inviting him to the show on another time, right? James left me on red. And then we were doing a show together. We were doing an in-crowd comedy. James is pulling on the parking lot. I feel like James saw me because I was standing outside with Tone and all them. We were standing outside about to go in. James, I feel like he saw us in the car. He's like, fuck to you. <laughs> <laughs> and then stop and then text me back. My bad, bro. What's good? Yeah. And then yo, yo, James will leave you on red for months, yo. For oh, months. That's my that's my toxic trait. I just I, I... yo, I I sent James <laughs> a pair of sneakers because like we had just did the BET awards, right? I was so oh, I'm the rookie on the team. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna get I got everybody custom made vans and everything. Everybody hit me back. Thanks for the kicks. Thanks for the kicks. I'm like, James, did you get the kicks? In my mind, James, did you get the kicks? <laughs> In my mind, I'm like, thank you for show. Yo, I hit this item up on Instagram. I DM, I sent his DMs like, yo, bruh, just let me know if you got it. Cause I don't want to go to the post office and scream on nobody because I'm like, yo, my man's ain't getting his sneakers. Like, like what happened? I was probably wearing the shoes. Like, I feel like I miss, there's something I'm supposed to do today. <laughs> as you lacing them up. As I'm, as I'm wearing <laughs> the shoes. Like, there's so I remember. Put my yeah. finger on it, and he has the laces in his fingers. Ah, uh, well, let me go run these errands. Uh, <laughs> let me skip that. Gentlemen, uh, also on the show tonight, the the beautiful, the talented, the illustrious. She's channeling channeling her inner Alicia Keys. You don't know my name right now. New York's finest, born and bred. Military yes. will whoop your ass. We have <laughs> Lulu Gonzalez. Let's pop it, everybody. I'm so happy to be back. I'm so happy to be back. I'll be I'll be watching other zooming with the homies jealous. Like, <laughs> damn, I ain't make the cut, cut this out. week. Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to spread it out, man. There's so many people, and I ain't got no help. It's just me. So I'm I'm working on it. I'm working on I'm getting getting that stuff together. But you uh, feel like you got the golden ticket when he hit you up. You be no, like, yes, not at all. I'll not be there. All. <laughs> not bad at all, man. I just like to have fun with my friends. That's it, man. Uh, how you been, Lou? Everything good with you? Man, I've been working. I've been busy. I've been uh, living like a teenager. I get to play video games for a living right now. So my days are filled playing Call of Duty. Oh, <laughs> so, well, I get it. That's a dope thing. That's a dope problem to have. Hell yeah. So I ain't got, I ain't got no complaints. So that's all, all right. I've been doing. Just gaming it up. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, he's no stranger to the show or to the ADD family. You guys seen him, you know him, you love him. One of the flyest, freshest guys that ever comes on the show. Um, I mean, just nonstop hilarity ensues when he's here. Ladies and gentlemen, Texas is on. We have Mr. Billy Sorrell's on the show. What's up? Hey, family? guys, listen, I want to say this. You guys make me feel famous every day that oh, I get to tell people that yeah. I know you. Let me, let me just start off with you to here. I'm going to go down the line. We go, it's because it's, it's a, you know, we're all connected here. It is interesting to hear. So my grandma, she hits me up. She says, hey, the pastor at our church, they were talking about, uh, I think your friends. And I told them that, that you knew these guys. And I just want to make sure I wasn't lying in the church. I said, what you talking about? She's like, yeah. So Kev on stage and to hear, you know, those guys, right? Because I told him, I said, yeah, I know him. Yeah, I told y'all my grandson knew them. I told you. See, out there in Hollywood, he all the way connected with all the stars. He know all of them. They be at his house and everything. I said, well, now you're lying. Terry never been in my house. But... <laughs> That that's let's start with you. That's that's with you. Then we're gonna work our way down to Lulu. So I'm on on the morning show, the morning hustle show. And so uh my, my guy that is on the show with me, his name is Head Craig. He was like, Yo, man, I just work with some dope people. Lulu. I was like, Yeah, man, me and Lulu, we used to work, do a bunch of uh videos back when we was doing Vine and early YouTube days. Get the fuck out of here for real. Yo, man, I, yo, that's crazy. James, now. <laughs> I'm at my mama house. I'm walking okay. through. Jay's the most famous of us all. I just want to point out. I want you to be. Nobody else has had a Comedy Central net, uh, shirt uh, show. I just want to throw that out there. I want you, and so, on Netflix, just chilling. Just chilling on Netflix. Hanging so, out. I got so so watch this. Too. James, 
Jay, I come through the house. Now I'm I'm in the house. I'm I'm in and out my mama's house when I go over there to visit. I'm going specifically to go do two things. I gotta go grab a light that I left in my bed in a in a bedroom upstairs, and then I gotta go grab another piece for my car that's at my mama's house. So I'm going through and I hear James' voice, but I'm like, dang, I ain't James. I'm like, it sounds like James, that ain't James. And then I'm like, okay, set up punch line prim- Okay, that's definitely James. Wait a minute. So I'm going to the living room. Mama sitting there with a full drink, laughing her ass off. Uh, I say, uh, "You watching? You, you enjoy you like, when you when you put this on? Because I'm, I'm I'm not jealous, but I I, I need to know because this ain't like my son got a show. This is like I'm watching this because I want to watch this, so I need it. I'm oh. now to know how you got on this. So she was like, "Yeah, man, this is one of my favorite guys, man. I I figured you didn't know him because you know he he does the stuff with you know mainstream people and the stars and shit. I was like, I was like, what you mean mainstream? Well, you know, your friends is black. You know, Ali and them, we see them at the improv. But the, the people in LA, I, I didn't really see you really hang with him like that. I, I said, I know that nigga. I know that nigga. He cool. That's my partner. Yeah, that's my own boy. Yeah, I know him. Oh, you know him? That's good, you know him. Why don't you get some shows with James? Because he out here really, he doing some other stuff. Wow. So yeah, mama. I said, yeah, mama, I'm going I'm, to I'm, I'm head out. I'm going to head out on that, mama. I'm going to head out? Uh, <laughs> your mama gave James like the, the MJ status. Like he ain't black. He's an athlete. Like he ain't black. He entertainer. Like he, he ain't black. Street. He James Davis. He James Davis. <laughs> <laughs> James became OJ overnight. I'm OJ. <laughs> well, listen, guys, like, we got a couple more people that are about to pull up. Um, okay. uh, two people I'm excited about, but uh, until they get here, we just gonna get started on this. Uh, as always, this is another episode. Oh, here's one person right here. This is another episode of Zooming with the Homies. This show is never behind a paywall. I wanted to come to you guys unfiltered. Raw as possible, uh, and just all the fun that you can pack into two hours. Um, so with that being said, because everybody on the show is a travel comedian or entertainer or a content creator, and they're not really working right now, ladies and gentlemen, all I ask you to do is take care of my guests. Bless them with a little something. That's all I ask you to do. And that way we can continue to keep this from going behind the paywall to make sure we take care of the guests. That's why we really do it. It's not just, you know, because I don't want it behind the paywall. I would love to take all the money. However, I, I know what we're going through, and I know what my comrades are going through. So I just want to make sure that since they're giving up their time and their energy and their jokes, that they're compensating for it a little bit so at this time i'm going to ask all my guests to change your name to your cash app so that people can bless you tonight mm. yeah, I'm on there. Cloud, thank you for pulling up brother oh you didn't see oh you see me pc i, I, see, I see you my bad my setup is a little a little slow nowadays what's up guys what's going hey. on Pat? how y'all feeling change your name <laughs> oh. so, go to the three dots and hit rename yeah. all right do your thing <laughs> Hang on, where, where, where that at? <laughs> okay, here we hey, go. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, just pulling up to the show. Uh, he's no stranger to you guys or to uh, to me or everybody here. Y'all already know him. No no major announcement needs to be made. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Patrick Cloud in the building as well. Bah, 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 bah. Hello, what friends. Up, How are you guys? Hey, right, what's up, James? What up, bro? I appreciate well, that, uh, you know, you resharing re- re- my uh, stand-up comedy on Kev's show. Yeah, you funny, man. Thank you, dog. Ah, that was a good show. That was a really good show. Hell yeah. What's up, Lulu and Billy? That's popping, Pat. What it do, PC? What's up, P? <laughs> How y'all feeling? Lulu, new braids, who this? You already Damn. know. Don't talk to me for like a week. I'm feeling myself. You said what? I said, don't talk to me for like a week because I'm feeling myself. Like, I don't even <laughs> You look like the main video girl in like a 90s DMX music video. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I've been wanting. I always want to be a chick in either a DMX video or a Cisco video. I want to come out the pool in slow motion. Like that, that is my dream. Like, watch. And I don't want no lines. I just want to come DMX. out the pool in slow motion. DMX is a hilarious rapper to, to just group that with. You got a high <laughs> It I had to be a one video New York girl. rapper since it's Lulu. We had we had to say a New York rapper. It couldn't have been like Nelly. She couldn't be nah, in the Nah, movie. nah. That there. Nah, that's a I whole different I vibe. Can't, I can't see I people could, wearing no baby fat. Not baby fat, but nah. um not what was the apple bottoms? I can't see yeah, her wearing no apple nah, bottoms. I'd I'd have on some Tim's though, definitely. Some Tim's is definitely Lulu, in the mix. I can see Lulu wearing some apple bottoms with Tim's, you know? Okay, okay. <laughs> but, doesn't, but doesn't the apple bottoms have to say apple bottom on, it's like on the butt, right? It's like really big. I mean, a little yeah. bit. A little and bit, man, a little bit. Yeah. God, I'll take a baby fat. I'll take a little baby fat. No, I'll take that. That was a little, eh, you know? Eh. Hey, you, my bad, you, I wasn't, you I wasn't paying money. attention. You said what, James? Get, I said either way you get 90s money. 
you know? Just give me a tracksuit, <laughs> a velour tracksuit. Like, velour. There you go. What? Hey, look at baby Sorrells. <laughs> hey, look at all say that hi. hair, boy. Hey, boy, you're going to be in trouble. Say hi. hi. You going to say your name? Say hi. Hi. Okay. All right. She just wanted to come say hi. All right, Andy. You ready? Get ready for tomorrow. Love you. All right. Okay, so, there we go. Here you go, Ron Bye. Taylor. Live from the Ron Mobile. What up, Ron? <laughs> I, the little second before they turn the audio on is always funny. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, when they searching hey, for that button, they trying to find it. The, the eyeline ain't even at the laptop. They just be like, "What's up, Ron? <laughs> What's the deal? Are you uh, how you doing, brother? You all right? Uh, you know, I'm hanging in there, dog. I'm uh, I'm home. Okay. <laughs> you can't say that while you in the van, Ron. People gonna think you back to living in the van, baby. They're going to cash out you matter. first, dog. <laughs> <laughs> this is the you most know. unkept I've ever seen your afro. It's usually like studio microphone. Yeah, thing. it's like super like it got the Kobe round. Like, you know, that the, the, the actual the domage. Like, what's <laughs> yeah, I actually did this while driving. Uh, I <laughs> used this spray bottle here. So, you, you know, I haven't even used a mirror. So I'm going to try to use this here and see if I can get it together. You were guessing? <laughs> <laughs> he was estimating. He oh, had a good estimate. Trying to figure it out. <laughs> I think I got this down by now. Uh, nope, not yet. Let me give a proper welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Um, from the mean streets of Detroit City, one of the most uh, just <laughs> independent-minded and most hilarious brothers I've ever seen on the stage. Um, his fro is generally always immaculate. Uh, he has the neck of a swan. Heck of a swan. <laughs> I, I pray I mean, you never I, say I, that I, again. On here. <laughs> Who says that? To, you got a giraffe Don't. neck in comparison to me. I can't. I can't. I'm jealous. That's no. He has a though. neck compared to you. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. New anyway, was coming, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you've seen him on Comedy Central. You've seen him at Just for Last. Uh, make some noise right now for Mr. Ron Taylor in the building. Bye, 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 bye. What's bye, going bye, on? Bye, bye. Right on. Right on. Hey, man, I appreciate all y'all being funny. here, man. Thank y'all so much for pulling up. Uh, Ron, what was your day like, man? You look like you had a rough one. You was running around. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, man. Um, I went to pick up my buddies from the airport. And uh, uh, that's some Midwest then, shit right there. Don't nobody, nobody under the age of 35 <laughs> say buddies. Is that the I'm gonna go pick up yeah. my buddies. They wanted to grab a couple bottles of pop. Uh, then pop. we sat down and uh, had some candy corn and uh, shot dice. <laughs> yeah, before that, I was uh, at the house and uh, I was uh, I was doing some exchange and I'm making this moonshine, so I had to take. The moonshine from the jug. You are an what? old ass nigga, bro. <laughs> what? Wait a second. Why are you making moonshine? Um, Ron, I, I is it, is it, are you getting it from, uh, is it for, uh, potato made? What you using as your base? Of course no, Billy knows how to do this. Oh, yeah, nigga, I'm, I'm all, I wanna know this is white lightning he going with, is it corn no. base? <laughs> no, so long story short, when I went to jail, and they was making prison wine. I was just fascinated. And I was like, I don't know. Rewind, rewind. You oh, wait, 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 wait. Before you rewind, Ron, I want you to go ahead and change your name or tell me your name so I can change your name to your Cash App man so that people can bless you. Because I didn't want to bring the story up, but since you mentioned it, you got to tell these motherfuckers the story, man. Jay, what were you, marching with the Black Panthers? <laughs> what was this? Ron, I, I, Ron, oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Ron, what's your Cash App? Let, let me change your name to your Cash App. Uh, I felt yeah, I don't know how to change it. It's uh, uh, Comedian Ron T. Hashtag Comedian Ron T. OK, give me one how'd second. How'd you go to jail, nigga? Yeah. Uh, in a car, they took me. They, uh, you know, they gave me a ride. Why? My, my bad. Why? Smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, that reminds me. I'm so glad y'all said that, uh, cause I gotta do this shit right now. But I went to jail for drinking and driving. So, man, now... he was just chilling at the crib. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 he was just drinking at the crib, though. <laughs> No, I'm home, officer. I'm home. I ain't got to go nowhere else. This is it. This my last stop for tonight. <laughs> the keys are out. The keys are out. It's a house. I got two different uh, DUIs in two different states because I'm a professional like that. And so I got this one for, 
I got to blow into this before I start my van, right? But from seven to nine, I got to blow into this device, which I forgot to do. And that's this one right here. And this sends back to, uh, uh, where does this go? To Detroit. Headquarters? Detroit. Batman, nigga? I don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Batman. You got Batman. a Bluetooth breathalyzer? That goes uh, to Detroit? This, this nigga blowing into the first cell phone. <laughs> oh, nigga. Oh, that's incredible. I passed. Just in case my uh, the judge is watching, I passed. God damn it! <laughs> it hey. goes to Detroit. Yeah. Yep. Is, hold on. Wait, wait, Ron. It's so much that we have to unpack. There's so <laughs> many layers. Cause hey, if thing. Ron don't get that in right away, it's a nigga on the phone like this gonna be like, "Hey, now Ryan ain't sending shit in yet. <laughs> Ryan have not sent it in. <laughs> we uh -uh. The I ain't heard from Ron. I don't know where yet, but he ain't sent it in yet." So wait, heard if, I ain't heard from Ron either. <laughs> if you if you blow over, do you get towed or do you get evicted? <laughs> uh, wait, wait, no, wait, wait. A lot of people don't know the story. We all know the story. Ron, mm -hmm. tell them about the basis of this joke right here. You you moved out to LA and then start mm -hmm. there. I'll make it fast. Long story short, I move out to LA. Wait a minute, where am I going with this? This is DUI, right? No, well, well, we already discussed the DUI. I don't want uh -huh. you, you don't have to get into too much information with that, but the, the, the van is the home joke, just so people are brought into it. So we because we're going to continue the goddamn joke, Ryan. I just want people to be on the same page with it. That's all. Okay, long story short, when I was in Detroit, I moved out from Detroit in a van and then just started living in that bitch. And, uh, you know, that was it. And I was by myself. I ain't even drink that much, dog. But when you by yourself living in a van, you're like, <laughs> Fuck it, you know, I'm gonna get fucked up. And I would go to 7 Eleven and I would get them chicken wings. Oh I, I love them. And I would get two Bud Ices. And Bud Ices, like, it's almost malt liquor, but it ain't. And I would down them bitches, dog. And then I'd just walk around doing comedy and shit. And you do that long enough, you get a DUI. And that's what happened. <laughs> oh, that wasn't like one particular night. You were talking about every night. Yeah, man. Every he made a career out of this. Yeah. <laughs> this just the night he got caught. This the right. night he got caught. All right. Right, right, right. But anywho, all that shit happened, and uh, and that's why my hair wasn't Kim, because I was fucking doing that. But as far as the moonshine go, when I went to jail, I went to jail because of my second DUI, and that bitch, whatever, that lady uh, put me in jail 30 days, and I was in there, and motherfuckers was making alcohol out of just like apples and I was like who knew I didn't know you could do that so when I got out I was like I'm gonna look into this and I found out about this stuff called Applejack um I'm not actually making this this really all a bit because to make it is illegal but you take apple juice and you put yeast in it and then it turns it to that's how you make hard cider but then you can distill it uh, and it's called freezer distilling it. And then you put it in the freezer and you let it drain and you keep doing that. And then you got like apple whiskey. So I'm allegedly like fakely, cause you know, it's illegal. I'm, that's the step I'm at right now where I'm freezing it. You need to go to rehab. Like this, like, this is like, this is really this is, a YouTube tutorial. This, this is, is incredible. This is you need to go back incredible. To He's he enhancing. He went to jail and he learned to enhance his charges. He went in there with. It's like, <laughs> it's like, how do you get at a degree in fucking up the way you fucked up the first time? It's like going to jail for me having cocaine and coming out. Like, you know what? Baking soda and B twelve will make this shit crack. I might as well try this. It's a whole new shit. But that's all awesome. it. That's that a little awesome. Lit. You put a little B twelve in your coke. Oh, no, nigga, are that's crack. Nigga, don't do that, Lulu. That's crack. <laughs> are you making it just to drink yourself, or are you like selling it? There you no, go. It, that's it, gonna it, get him a charge. There you go, Pat. Right, no. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't sell it. That that that'd just be stupid. You know. I'm. I'm just. It's just to drink. Oh, that'd be stupid. Shout out to Kevin yeah, King I mean, for that money. Appreciate you, Kevin. That'd be like a whole. Th it's it's very labor intensive. Like it, it, I wouldn't make it. Money. So it's just like, it's just to do some cool shit. So when I finally can drink and I can break my sobriety, because I ain't drinking a year, then I will drink the alcohol that I made, you know what I'm saying? Instead of the white man's alcohol. That's what you do with your buddies, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Making hooch. <laughs> Making hooch for my buddies, man. Making hooch in the van. I don't do that on Monday nights. <laughs> <laughs> Making hooch. When you, oh, when, you put it, when you put it in a bottle, do you put one X or threes? <laughs> <laughs> Does your jug have the ring on it? Or do you Got hold your jug from the bottom? Oh, this that two X. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really got that far. And I ain't gonna know how strong it is. Cause I didn't buy the, the hydrometer to measure the out to measure the sugar content beforehand, so it'll all be guesswork as to how strong it is, and just hopefully you don't go blind. Cause it's that's called know. eyeballing. That's eyeballing, ladies and gentlemen. That's another tactic for undercover narcotics production. No measurement. <laughs> eyeballing. Right, you need to write a book, bro. You are ATF and the DEA coming to get us on this show. Me with the drugs, Ron with the alcohol. It's it's uh, a lot of shit going on. You you at no, least need to make this a YouTube tutorial at least. Mm, yeah. I need to call Ron Vice in this bitch where y'all asking these questions. <laughs> I'm the police, by the way. Ryan got yeah, some I mean, really, really good content on his YouTube page. I should definitely check out his his uh, his his, uh, his his YouTube page. He had a show where he and Ron does have a place to live now uh, for the people in the comments. But before that, he used to do a cooking show. Oh, uh, nigga, that was my shit. That was He's my still shit. doing it. <laughs> in, in his van, yeah, he is still doing it. But this is when he was living in the van. He would make a whole meal in his goddamn van. I'm talking about go to the grocery store and get some chicken breast, sear it up, season it up, have a salad, some mashed potatoes. He's doing all of this in his van with like a camper too. burner. And the shit was fire. I was on there. I think Pat was on there. No, I'm things. supposed to be. I oh, wanted to be on there. I asked him to be on there. Well, long story short, what happened was you and your uh, long story short, man. I'm I'm lazy and the shit be hard, man. Like ah, that know, is a long story short. Cooking is hard in a house. That shit even more hard in a van. And then to like actually have to record the shit. I'm over here holding the camera and like frying chicken and shit. And and then it get, still got to be hot when the hey, man, get down. a GoPro. Get a GoPro. I got two GoPros, and long story short, them bitches don't work like that, you know? So, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure no, it out. No, I, I get it. You you saying I'm lazy and the shit is hard is dead-ass accurate. Sometimes very accurate. that just be why a show don't happen. Yo, that's, <laughs> that's literally why I'm poor right now, man. Like, oh, like, all the videos, like, I know that's how you get rich and famous. That's how everybody else got rich and famous. And my mindset has just been like, stand up, stand up, stand up. Especially when I first moved out here, I was sitting around like, nigga, stand up will never die. And 2020 was like, yeah, let me show you. Hilarious. Let no. me show you. <laughs> <laughs> them, them videos, like, that, that's that's how it go, you know, social media, all that shit. But it's hard and I'm lazy. So, you know. Right. We'll see. I got yeah, four yeah. videos I need to edit right now that I, I'm like, oof. Facts. These hey man, if they were is, edited, is anybody been talking to the true stand ups like the nigga that that just go to the comedy club and get drunk to get away from their wife and kids and be like, yeah, nigga, this this is where it's at right here. You know what? Pride would have still made it through all this stand up. Fuck all this COVID shit. What would what would Roddy Dangerfield do? You know what he do? He be out telling jo tell, telling jokes on the street. That's what that nigga would do. Yeah, check on them niggas right now, man. I I done called a couple of niggas that's like refused to make a video because they didn't talk so much shit about niggas on YouTube that they can't yeah. go back. Like they can't Period. compromise now. It's like, yeah, no, y'all, y'all do that Vine shit. I yeah. ain't fucking with that. Vine ain't up no more. Whatever that YouTube shit is, I'm a real person. So you out here going to die for this shit. I was in the opposite, Billy. I'm getting all the niggas that was like, I would never, ever do a sketch on the internet. And they like, hey, Lulu, can I use you in my sketch real quick? It's on Instagram. I'm like, nah, I'm booked. I'm busy, bro. I'm busy. You can't afford my rate. I'm busy. As an internet nigga, let me just say. We win. We're a little bit more prepped for this year, huh? As an internet nigga, we sitting back just like laughing at niggas downfall just enjoying it ah uh, yes they've sent their little lives away here have you seen their pettiness as they sit hoping that the comedy club might reopen a little bit have you seen them patrick cloud is that you, is that you? Outside. <laughs> you know the other day i saw a comedian and his name was Boo Capone. He's <laughs> waiting on a bus ride. And I looked at Boo and I said, how deep is thy peasantry that thou have sat here? 
and thought that stand up would never die. <laughs> In his face, I laughed with profoundness as I drove past the comedy union and said, Ta, there will be no laughs here. Comedy store, ta, there will be no laughs here. The laughs will be held in the device of the crown prince. <laughs> the internet will be infinite with laughs, ha -ha's and LOLs, emojis for thou. Yo, the fact that though. Billy sat in that, that shit for that long is hilarious, nigga. The fact that he now, had the music cue. I was like, oh, it's still happening. Billy, <laughs> Billy, music it's cue. still the thing. It's a thing. Box, <laughs> fake telephones, <laughs> a professional background, kids. <laughs> kids cameos. The playback, video, uh, the playback value on this performance I'm oh, trying to give up. It's going to be fantastic. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Replay tip, shit. It's some shit y'all missed. Out, man. Tip them out. James Davis, man. You've always been somebody that I, I I thought was one of the most left left field thinkers, man, and super comfortable doing it. I am completely thank you, completely surprised that you don't have a podcast going on the regular or, or like four of them going, bro. What? Why you won't give the people what they want, James? Mm. So I, I'm I, sick I of it. That, I have that debate with myself like all the time. I need to. I'm just I'm just honestly I'm bullshit. I'm missing out on money and and, and everything else. And That's my wrong. problem is. I'm I'm a big fan of everybody and I I'm like really into originality so I don't want to do anything that feels like I'm doing an, another version of what other people are already doing cuz that's just like not my personality so I'm probably just overthinking this shit I was just about to say <laughs> even, if, like, really thing, even if you did what other people are doing it wouldn't be the same exactly. not the way you think James no. James you are literally you're 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 a different Tony Baker. The shit that you think about, normal people just don't even think about addressing and, and, and tapping in for a joke, bro. And you can do that shit so effortlessly. You literally can have the Seinfeld of podcasts. You don't have to have a direction. You don't have to have um, a thing. You could literally talk to the people and they would be entertained and they want it, nigga. So I'm gonna charge you with the task. Okay. Uh, within the next two months, bro, I need the James Davis project. Two months, uh, nigga. Start thinking I'm, of ideas tomorrow. Yeah, because well, I mean, it's, it's gonna take James two months to text you back about the title. <laughs> Don't of give the him podcast. that much time. Nah, we just need to podcast. find somebody to book it for him. If we get somebody to book it for him and say, James, just show up right here, nigga. We have to death row this nigga. We gotta sugar <laughs> night this nigga to come in and get this nigga to do this podcast. I mean, That's that, what you gotta do. But no. I mean, I feel the peer pressure, you know. I'm, it's on. It's on the it's, it's on record pressure. now. People yes. say, James, all them people told you to do that, and you didn't. Why? You know why? Because everybody sees like the greatness in you, and there's so many people out here with mediocrity who's winning. So it's like if the mediocrity can win, like we should all be millionaires by like next year and a half, like legit. Because it's so much money out there to get. We just like being lazy, man. And Laziness. we all we all have the relationships, especially you, James. You got. You got so many people in your your pocket, bro, that you could just tap into, and it's, it's it's. I know it seems like we're talking like, yeah, that shit would be nothing. We all admit and know that it's gonna be hard to get it up and going and build the fan base. But nigga, I'm here to tell you, I will support you. I will come on. I will repost it. I will do any and everything I can to hear make sure that you get the claim that you deserve, brother. You know what? You know what James is gonna say when you get off this Zoom. <laughs> All oh, these peasantry <laughs> internet niggas with their thoughts. <laughs> I'm a television and food. God, I am rich beyond their in mind. These niggas begging for money. I am in the old regime of Hollywood where I've made a living for myself. I don't have to work at all. I smoke my weed. Hello. I don't want a cash app for your tips. I'm not your waiter. <laughs> Yo. I'm so not ready for Billy today. <laughs> <laughs> no, we need, uh, I didn't know we needed props and uh, musical encores. I feel all like, right. All hey, right. <laughs> hey, you know what? I will say this though. I'm gonna do a podcast, but what I have been really focusing on is is like writing these scripts and getting these movies made because that's what I'm trying to do with my relationships is like create Hollywood shuffle type of projects where I can get all my homies in like a movie or a new TV show because. I feel like there's not enough people like creating projects for all of us to jump into. I'm right. tired of just seeing these movies and TV shows with one black homie here, one black right. homie there. Like, I want to see us all winning on screen. So that's what I've been trying to like use my 
my uh, you know connects for, but I'm definitely gonna hop on the podcast and we can. Oh yeah, don't stop doing that other stuff. Th- th- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we met like add on podcast. Yeah, right? we wasn't saying pick and choose. We like add yeah. on to the, to add the list, bro. Add, <laughs> add that onto your workload. Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. And don't forget. Everyone in here is an asshole. We wouldn't even say all this if we didn't want you to have a podcast. Hey, <laughs> this show's hey, two hours. I feel it. I feel, it. I, feel it. <laughs> I, I feel the support. Like I'm I literally, I'm like, dang, like God is working through this Zoom right now. Like He's really speaking to me. I'm wow, like, <laughs> wow. Take it, James. Um, what are you doing next Monday, man? Ooh, next Monday. Uh, it's the <laughs> pandemic. I don't know what I'm doing next this Wednesday, but uh. Next Monday, nothing. What, you want me back? Uh, we want you on uh, Damn Internet, you're scary. You want to get you on our podcast. It's nothing. I love, so we like, could, like we Billy could. said, I love showing up. <laughs> I love showing up and just dropping. It's the off. setting up that you don't like. I don't like the setup, you know? <laughs> uh, you just want to gut there. You know, something like that. But yeah, I, I, I'm for show. Sure. I love pulling up and just being me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's why you, you got to get a team to do everything for you and you just come through and just be the talent. James got the money too to buy a team. I, Let me tell he's you. on Netflix, bro. When I did, when I did the show with, with James, this is how he stunted on us, right? James, he didn't know what car he wanted to drive. So he had the car he drove and then he had two other cars just in case he changed his mind on the drive up there or the drive home. So he, he rolled past us blasting old Tupac and then the other cars were playing the next song that came in the rotation, and the car after that was playing the next one. So it was just like a parade of all eyes on me, and it was it was beautiful. I had never. All been right, y'all don't do more. motorcades. Is that true? Yeah. Y'all don't do motorcades. That's the Texas thing. We do that down here. We definitely do that. Is that all true? Yeah. That's who James is. Nah, it was it was just one car. It was just one little Benz. Nothing crazy, you know what I'm saying? Oh. One little Benz. One little, little Benz. Benz. Little Benz. A little Rari. I got a baby Benz, man. It ain't even the, it ain't even the stretched out one. It's just like a, you know, the, the, the first one you get to be like, am I gonna fuck with Benzes? You know, like. Uh, yeah, talk, I'm, I'm, I'm nigga talk. right now. So I, uh, being the poorest one in this whole Zoom, so I'm just gonna ahead and uh, take off, man, because you know, <laughs> stretch Benzes and the podcasting and the. You know, it's very uncomfortable. I don't like it. What? You don't have a podcast? Ain't even a rich thing. (laughs) (laughs) Anybody could do a podcast. (laughs) And you do it from the setup of your phone. I'm the only one on the phone right now. You niggas got laptops and all this fancy gadgets, gadgets. (laughs) Don't act like a a laptop is fancy. (laughs) Why do you sound like an old slave? Like, ooh, gadgets and gadgets? Ooh, a laptop. Ooh, the Lord didn't send you a laptop. Like... And in this Black History moment, Ron T became the first comedian to blow up from a minivan. After being surrounded on Zooming with the homies, he got frustrated. And it was at that night he wrote the best Black blockbuster film ever. That nigga go. Y'all put, hey, nigga, Ron gonna come with some shit after the night, nigga. He he didn't already told y'all. Ron can create his own alcohol, but is calling a laptop a gadget in a gadget. Like, <laughs> you got your laptops and your podcasts, Ooh. and your lights and your working water. <laughs> you got a, your you indoor do plumbing. Progenator with the with the apples and the gin and the jail. <laughs> hey, you know what? Ron is actually bougie. You you, you don't know it. No, no, you are because. When you invited me, and, and you probably don't even know this about yourself, when you invited me on your van show, you were like, yo, obviously I knew the, the show already, but you were like, yo, I'm doing the uh, cooking in the van. Um, you want to be on it? Obviously I said yes. And you're like, all right, so the, the, what, do you want, what do you want? You have any like vegan options? We got crawfish, we got steak, we, oh. got, we got, and I'm like, yo, <laughs> you making crawfish back there? That's how I know you bougie because the menu don't match the restaurant. I was thinking like a spam lasagna or something like that. Which I was or... fine with, but he that's how I know he bougie. He still got that million dollar mindset. I like it. Hey man, that's EBT money, brother. You know, I don't, I don't pay for that. Anything's possible. Oh, yeah. that's the show. You know, he's trying to get money for the food. That's it. <laughs> hey man, in the words of Kobe, just do the simple things right, man. And you win it. Hey, you know, holy day. I'm winning. It makes sense. You know, it's easier said than done, man. But, you know, I'm getting up there. Hopefully. I'll try to write something. I tried to write for uh, James' show. I didn't get a text back or an email saying, kiss my ass, suck my dick. Nothing. (laughs) 
That's a good thing, though, right? It's a it's a good thing that you didn't get that. Were you expecting that? that? Yeah, yeah. yeah, but you're getting to suck my dick. <laughs> it's like you wrote it. It's like you pitched him to get the suck my dick. <laughs> I ain't getting no suck my dick. I ain't getting no with my balls. I ain't getting no text message. Because <laughs> if you said suck my dick, I mean, I'm with it. <laughs> That's why I wrote it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hopes of getting to suck my dick. Yeah, I, I pitched you a whole no idea. I got no blowjob offer. Nothing. <laughs> you gotta lick my tank or nothing. Nothing. I'm supposed to know I'm funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't go by laughs. Yeah. I go by dick sucks. Okay. You all might not know this as successful people, but you see, the rest of us common folk, we have to do what's called a writer's packet, you see. And the fucked up thing about writer's packets is you don't hear shit until the show is on. So you don't know if you got the job, you just one day see us on TV and go, I guess I ain't get it. You know, so <laughs> You know, I'm staying up late and shit. And this back when I was living in this bitch, you know, I got to park somewhere where it's light. Damn, so James. Light, so Damn. my battery don't die. Writing this shit on a piece of paper and shit so I can go to somebody else's house so I can type the shit on a computer and then email it all to never hear nothing. Yeah, fuck all that shit, bro. Hey, I, I will say That's this. I, I was only able to bring on two... Uh, black writers at first, and it was this nigga from Daily Show, Trayvon Free, and my nigga Sydney. So it's like really just one person, cause like you gotta hire your boy. So brother, I'm pretty sure you didn't even see it. Uh, I, I know didn't. why. He <laughs> that that shit was in the agent's <laughs> office. We see all the writers packets. I ain't retarded now. <laughs> That's no hurt. This all that nigga stuff. thought he was gonna get his packet returned. It was never going to get read. Ah, ah, ah. It was on the agent's desk for here to see. <laughs> you got hustle, Ron. That's dope. Oh, Ron, Ron's Ron. the beast with it, bro. I can't hey, Ron, really see you hey, so hey, Ron send me your packet, though. Send me your packet, though. Don't send that shit. In my he, email. He never right, gonna check no, that. I'm trying to bring back my show. So, you know, send, send it. Get it to me, bro. I'll do it, brother. I'm Let's with it. it. You ain't saying shit. I'll do it. Let's do it. <laughs> but yeah, man, we'll see. Whatever. You all continue talking about your uh, rich and famous life. I'm going to try to listen. <laughs> no one was right. talking nobody about is, Nobody is nothing rich, rich and famous. famous. We said laptops, bro. Laptops. Well, well that was right out of a, uh, a conversation about making hooch. So <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I get where he's coming from. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey, I made my own lotion. I made my own lotion. That was a thing. I tried Why? to do it. Really? Yeah, because I was doing? because I was like, yo, this quarantine. I was like, yo, this quarantine life, like I'm gonna try something different. Like, oh, I'm gonna get all natural. I'm gonna get, you know, my natural ingredients. I'm gonna make my own type of vanilla scented. Yeah, that joint didn't last for like a day. And <laughs> what, a day? <laughs> then you weren't doing it. You just tried it. I tried, it wasn't was for me, bro. I made one lotion. I made one and put one label on. I was like, I'm good. I don't want to do this anymore. Outside more. churning cocoa butter. <laughs> I had to use my hands. So I'm in, there, I'm in there mixing it, churning it. I was like, nah, this ain't for me, bro. I'm gonna just go buy the shit. For like what is $10. the base of lotion? What do you use? What's the base? I use actual natural shea butter. So oh. I, I incorporate the shea butter. You put a little um, whatever flavors you want, lavender. And I was just like, nah, I watch too much. That ain't, that ain't lotion. That's fucking moisturizer. Lotion it's is some other Body shit. butter. Oh, oh, okay. No, no. I'm not doing that shit. No <laughs> oh, sorry, that sounded too rich and fancy. My, that's why I said lotion. <laughs> Bring it back, and then we'll have we'll open up a motherfucking hooch and lotion spot. You know, Ooh, all food. organic. You see what I'm saying? Who's Tell that demo? The... Ashy and drunk. <laughs> Ashy drunks. <laughs> Who's going for a, the going demo? Is Ashy drunks? That's for. I mean, most of people who be drunk be ashy. You forget to lotion up. So this is a one-stop shop. That you is. know. Yeah. Well, cool. Quick question. Um, and we got twenty-four hundred people in here, man. Make sure y'all hitting that like button and make sure you tipping the guests, man. Lulu, how did you start getting in the um the, the sketches with, with Batch and, and the rest of those guys, man? Because I, I I thought you had moved back to New York and then I looked up and you were like in everybody's video, man. You could not you could not take a break from Lulu and I love the 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 overdose of it. Tell us how that, that came to pass. Oh well, I wasn't like nowhere, I was in a relationship. 
And so I couldn't, I couldn't Damn, do shit. Damn, you thought a motherfucker moved? Cause you, <laughs> <laughs> well, I had, Lou, you listen, Lula was on the scene all the time and then she was just gone. And I was like, oh damn. Cause he had show. issues with me doing stand up. He had issues with me doing sketches. He didn't like that I was popping. Well, cause I was more popping than him and he didn't like that. So I was, I was like, well, wait, 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 he, he was the get... internet nigga. He was the no, internet. No, he wasn't, he wasn't. What he, he wasn't, did? He was in music. What and I was like, bro, we not even in the same lane uh, like we don't he was even... racing his album sales with your skit views <laughs> yeah i'm not like he, he first of all he's not what even signed he wasn't signed he had no publishing i'm like bro i'm out here killing and he's like nah are you what well, you gonna do stand up or you just trying to hang out with niggas i was like i'm trying to get the stage time bro like they gonna give me in seven minutes i'm gonna take it so i stopped doing stand up i stopped doing sketches for a little bit and then when we broke up i was like yo i'm back man i'm back i'm so out of money about his music career how's that going for him Hmm? What music career? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga selling phones at Verizon. Okay, that's what well, he's you, doing. You don't gotta you do don't. that, Lulu. You ain't gotta hey, do that. No, all facts, that. Is facts. Hurt. facts is facts, man. You had me out the game for a minute. I was out here being loyal. Nah, man. Yeah. It'd be different Everybody, if they go like Travis Scott really? or something. You know, then it'd be a different story. Then you could be like, well, bitch, he was Travis Scott. He was trying to tell you. <laughs> where he was at. Like, I'll be <laughs> silent. Verizon, you got to stun on that nigga. Hey, <laughs> had you been listening to him, you'd have been over there on his account. The only benefit you got is an extra phone and shit. Nigga, you, you, know, you trying to hit me with, Billy? He was like, yo, get on my account. I can shoot it. And you get a discount. I was like, what? Mm -hmm. No, I don't want a discount on my plan. Like thirty dollars. Really stop standing up for a nigga. That just seems insane. I know, and then and that's when I had to be like, "Hey, bitch, you funny. Uh, let's go back out in these streets." But I started with Batch. I was I was doing stand up, and I know him from YouTube. And one of my homies was like, "Yo, Mitch." It was actually Mitch, me, Mitch, and James. Shout out to Mitch Marshawn. <laughs> Yeah, so Mitch had hit me because I knew Mitch from Twitter and I had mentioned back in the day when I was leaving New York, like, yo, I'm coming to L.A. I was just looking up for popping comics that was on Twitter and it's just trying to reach out. So when I came to L.A., Mitch was like, yo, you want to come be in a sketch for YouTube? I was like, sure, I don't give a fuck. I'll be there. And James was there. Mitch was there and Batch was there. And then Batch was we just kind of connected. And he was like, yo, you want to do Vine? I was like, what the fuck is Vine? He's like, just come through, I got you. And then ever since then, we've just been kicking it. So. And then six seconds later, Lulu was born. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it took. One time I was like, oh, this is it. This is lit. You miss Vine? Nah, nah. I need more than six seconds, man. I, I don't, I don't, I didn't appreciate it back then, but like six seconds is cool, but I'm looking at it now. I'm like, that shit was trash. I don't know how y'all did a whole setup and Ugh. joke in six seconds. That would have been ass. It was I, like, hey I girl, what you doing? <laughs> I'm doing nothing good. <laughs> you in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, bet. Oh, that was it. It was so rushed. Oh that was my it. God. Yeah. It was kind of I, funny. Of now, this, I was an old school bougie comedian with Vine. I was like, I, I cannot. Six seconds. I can't work with such <laughs> a box. You're going to have to pass me up on this. We, we literally, you'll start recording, like you'll start speaking as soon as you start Start recording there was no because there was no time to edit we couldn't like save it download it but like you had to really do everything on your phone oh so the, was there... the version that you held it and then let go and then held it and people exactly. were changing locations they'd go to the beach hold it for a second and then go somewhere else like you got Big. me Imagine your phone die. <laughs> oh. was the thing. Oh, three days that's, of production. <laughs> and that's when that's when Batch used to start holding. He would have two and three phones. He'd have just a phone to shoot, and then he'd have a phone for, for his regular phone because people's phones was dying. We'd be shooting for like six, seven, eight hours. That's crazy. Wow. That's wild. Their dedication. That, yeah. We was literally dedicated. And even up to before uh, COVID, we was at Batch's house literally eight hours a day. Shooting out. Yeah, shit was like like everybody just come in town and you you knew a nigga was in town if he was if he hit in a be, be in a batch video. Yep. <laughs> Cause that's when, when when Desi started first coming on the scene, he was at Batch's house and he was like, Man, I just I just wanted to come out here with y'all. We were just like, Oh, okay. We didn't realize how much Batch was really influencing people because we were just like meeting up and just shooting. Mm -hmm. But it's oh. always it's always a vibe. I love it. It'd be like 20 creators in a house and you got so many options. You'd be like, ah, right, yo, I'm gonna need you. I need you. I need you. I need you. And I got you for another sketch. And I'm knocking like out. Like a wine house? Yeah, man. I'm knocking out five I sketches I heard that was a, a petri dish of sex and sin. I don't know. <laughs> People always, yeah, yeah, they I always put me in the homie selection. So I'm always the homie. So they always tell me about all the bitches. And I'll be like, damn, that's crazy. Like, it's, <laughs> damn, that's crazy. The rule is, the rule is if you recurring, like Lulu is recurring. But if you see a bitch do a one and done sketch, yeah, just he for that It's actually what they call raising them. So there's or a lot under of their wing, right? I heard that. Yeah, I got, I got Lulu the snitch. I got under their dick. Right. Is what they had him. Under their dick. 
It's not and then you got the, the you got the Harvey Weinstein's of the vine. I ain't gonna end in Instagram video. I ain't gonna say because I know these niggas personally. Who I yeah, they, bitch. If you gonna be in my video, you can't be in these other niggas' video. You gonna take this little dick for these eight, eight <laughs> and you gonna do this goddamn sketch. I heard about that. That is oh yeah, these niggas is horrible. They look like monsters out here. With no, budget. Them niggas. with no budget, just, no trailer, you just you be like, no if you in my no video, trailer. you fucking, and that's gonna come back in a hashtag for them niggas. Twenty but years. But you know what? Now. A lot of these girls be that be they offer. Like, I, like, see, I come like if I come on scene, I'll have ideas. These bitches don't have no ideas. They don't have no sketches. So they come in and they're just like, who wanna use me? And the dudes be like, me, me, <laughs> me, 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 me. And they be like, okay, I got just tag me, you. just tag hey, Ron, me. That ain't the cops, is it? Oh, no. shit. No. <laughs> no, I ain't drinking no way. Somebody got their hands in so I don't know, whatever. Oh, if well, if you put a sand <laughs> bar at the bottom of Ron's though. box, I would feel like it was about to go down. <laughs> I'm in the world right now, so you know, you're gonna see a bunch of stuff. But wait a minute, I thought everybody got paid for them videos. Girls were just doing that for likes and shit? And we, 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 didn't, we didn't start getting Dick. paid for Instagram and, and, and stuff like that till recently, bruh. Like, recently. These chicks, I'd be like, Fashion Nova, Toxic. they not getting paid. Yeah. They not getting no money. They be oh, giving them the clothes man. and they be like, go model, bitches. Go I could have been getting pussy just for giving out likes. No, nope. I would have had 100,000 nope. followers. No, no, nope. no. Nope. Nope. Don't let that come back to you, Ron. Do not let some social media, hell, that's, them niggas, them crazy vine niggas is the reason why I hit on zero of my what? actors. What's the problem? I will never do that. No, that's ridiculous. Because there are, niggas, ridiculous? there are niggas out there that trade that position in their video for sex. So, so under no problem? circumstance should anybody feel like- well, I'm still trying to figure out what's the problem. <laughs> no one, no one, no you know, one should you know, feel like if I don't fuck you, yeah. I'm not gonna be in that your That sound place. like a good deal to me. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my buddies filming this weekend. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's hooch. Come on down to the, to the van. Right? Any Come nigga to the that makes hooch ain't worried about that shit. Yeah. I didn't you, realize. You bring your gadgets and your gadgets and your laptops. And, uh, <laughs> hey, bitch, you want to try some of this moonshine? <laughs> hey, I'm serious. What's the, I mean, like, what's the, what's, what, how does that come back to bite you in the ass? It's like. Right, let, me, let me say this. Let me just say this. Right? <laughs> one, one, you get a reputation. In, 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 in a lot of worlds, right? You get a lot, you get a lot of reputation and that reputation will precede you way faster than your talent. And two, you don't like, I've, I've know a couple of people that have almost got cases or got cases off of that type of stuff. Um, so mm. it's just, it's just better just to leave that long. Walk, with, walk with clean feet through Hollywood <laughs> because yeah. like I, and I, and I would literally ask women this, you know, like to, to get their advice. And at the end of the day, even if it's just an audition or anything, like you just gotta wait. If, especially, I mean, if, if you're just acting, that's fine. Like like Hollywood just leaves actors to do shit with each other and all that stuff. But if it's anything like a producer or director to an actor, it's just like, you don't wanna put anybody in a position where they feel like if they don't smash you or, or, or talk to you, then they wouldn't be in whatever project. You know what I mean? Now, if they're hitting on you, that's different, you know? But it's like, I won't, I don't care if it's on set, an audition. I, I just won't do it. Yeah, no, fuck all that, Ron. I'm not crazy. I'm not Harvey. I just figure like, I'm not you Harvey. know, it's like if you want to jump the line, here's what's available. But if you want to go, no, 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 you can't. No, it never no, works no. out in the end. Let me just nope. tell you, all the girls that I've seen frolic through the house with their little skimpies on for a little tag. It never works out on the end. They all end up, half of them, yeah, I mean, it might work for you. They like, they got only fans and stuff. You could go watch that, but they ain't gonna excel okay. in Hollywood. They ain't gonna be no real actresses. Ryan, let me explain something to you. Customer service in a situation like that is always a prosecutor or, or the police, nigga. When, shit don't, when the deal don't go right, nigga, you going straight to jail. Well, you did what? Nigga, that's the easy statement. And you know, you texting, hey bitch, when you gonna take this dick for this sketch scene? You know, that's, you going, it's, it's, it's a slippery slope, bro. And then no. you always know who not fucking with nobody no more because then they not in the sketches anymore. Oh, Isn't yeah, that yeah. crazy? Oh, what? what? I mean, like, oh, it's over, it's over. Yeah. Here's another thing to just think about. Y'all y'all at somebody's place or, or wherever, and y'all shooting videos, right? You don't know who got a camera rolling when somebody sends some slick shit like that. 
Like literally, you don't know, and that 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 shit might come back to bite you in the ass that month. It might come back to bite you in the ass when you're on stage about to receive your Emmy or, or whatever. So like, you just don't want that type of shit on your 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 mental. You don't want that type of shit coming back later on, cause motherfuckers live for that shit, man. All they gotta do is go to Twitter and find some old tweet you said, and once something gets sparked, then that shit gonna come up, and then some other shit gonna come up. Then people gonna start coming out. He told me this one time, and here comes that recording. That they got on your ass saying some some slick shit, even if you were just kidding, but you knew you said it with, you know, I mean, but if you gonna do it, type energy, that's when that shit come up, man. So it's it's better well, to look, do- man. You scaring me now. So let me clear it up right here on this, okay? All I, I look, we're these are all jokes. All I'm saying is if you wanna be on Van Cook Meals and you got that pussy on you. Then you can be on the show. That's all I'm saying. How did that uh, clear it up, Ron? You I not- take back my request to be on the Van Show. Uh, Man. Me and my, me and my you pussy gonna try to get the pussy from me. We gonna, <laughs> <laughs> we gonna tell you bust them cheeks open, Pat. Why? She gonna finger them, gonna pull over in a in a dark alley mid crawfish. Hey, them, <laughs> them dreads looking mighty tempting, man. Them dreads looking <laughs> mighty tempting when they when you take the pin out on the start. door. <laughs> Next week we gonna be. <laughs> don't do no, it, Ron. No. Especially don't if you're, anybody has seen up. Ron T. You're looking <laughs> for a man in the van. Give us a call. 1 866 487 5353. If anybody has seen Ron described as a man at 5'9 to 5'10, 6'2 with an afro, trying to get you to have sex in a van, give us a call. Operators are standing by. Listen, it ain't it ain't hard to find a nigga like Ron is the type of nigga to get rich and still like drive a van. So it ain't gonna be hard to find this nigga. This nigga, the only one is 35 shopping for 15 passenger vans. Like yeah, that motherfucker. I'll never like, not yeah. drive a van. I can't not drive a van now. Once you drive a van or a pickup truck, you can't go back. Like you just Wait, I so couldn't do drive you have, a, I feel like a hella uh, pedophiles say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because do you have a van and a car or do you just have the van? I've always had a large vehicle to haul stuff. So whether and that's not I got the question van, I asked you. Do you have a no, van have a and car. a car? Have, have, you just no. have the van. The, right the now, van yeah. is for kidnapping bitches. <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> you be picking up you be picking up girls in this van? You expect him to throw a body in a regular sedan? <laughs> <laughs> Surviving Ron T coming soon. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out like how many chicks you picked up. And was like getting the. I phone. hear hey, some bitch, things about Ron. I, I hear thing. he has no trouble in that van, which is yeah. I, oh, I, I, listen, this is the thing. A lot of a lot of people need to move in Hollywood, and so they be like, "Man, who I know that got a van or a truck?" And Ron be like, "What's up, lady?" <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, that ain't gonna do it for me, man. <laughs> I don't that pick up people. Don't nobody pick up people. That's crazy, you know. Look, I have just like you get picked up to go on a date. We go out on a date. And then they just happen to see all the room, especially when the bed was in here. You see a bed in the car, you're gonna want to fuck. It's just it's, it's no, you not. No, you're not. I, that's not what's thinking. That's sorry, not what's what? in my head. I'm like, how can I leave? What excuse can I use <laughs> right <laughs> now to Make get out of there? <laughs> Ron, Ron's slick as hell. He don't even gotta invite him over. He just give him a ride. Be like, hey, we when have you see this bed up? in the back, <laughs> bitch, you go fuck tonight. When you see this bed. Them draws gonna no, drop. I ain't never heard that what in my life. Fuck? If you see a bed in the van, you gonna want fuck. Like, yeah. You just get sleepy. You just get sleepy. Every van yeah. I see just remind me of vacation Bible school. I've never gotten a van, but like, yeah, Smash City. This is it right here. Not for no. dudes. I'm saying, <laughs> look. I'm a Calls it back, not the dudes. What I'm saying. I said dudes. Not your buddies. <laughs> I have a fucking Afro and glasses and talk like a white dude. All right, don't nobody want to fuck me. You, but I fuck a lot of people. I'm not making this shit Fuck a lot of women or fuck a lot of people? <laughs> yeah, people or women. <laughs> whatever. I said what, whatever. Whatever. Hold on. Whatever. That's whatever. open for interpretation. All right, hey, nigga. Pat. Pat, don't go over there. All right, let's, 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 move, let's move on. Let's move on. Pat, don't no, 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 no. We, we have at least four more jokes. more jokes for this. Don't move on. Hey Ron, do you do you at least open the back doors for him? <laughs> do, you, do you put on new sheets for every bitch? Do you put on new no. sheets? You no, make the same sheets in the in the van? Them. Hey, he, he when you when you set the tree, you switch up the little tree with the scent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, 
under the bed. You can put that under the bed. Hey, when you set the mood, do you just cut the radio on or? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I think I have a couple more. Uh... <laughs> Listen, Ooh, for what? Is this. In order for me to do what you niggas, especially Pat and to hear do naturally, just picking up girls because they cute and they funny, I've had to devise situations. Stop, stop. It sounds bad now. This sounds it, bad. Devise sounds like, I gotta go, y'all. I'm gonna head out. Uh, it it sounds bad. I don't bad. know what's going on. Gotta go, guys. See ya. I was never sit in a van and say devise. <laughs> devise? Devise. Sounds like van devise. <laughs> That's why he making the hooch, y'all. You gotta devise <laughs> and conquer. You gotta get him with the nigga, hooch. This, and make this, this nigga is parked it. outside of his next victim's house right now. That was who's that's whose brake lights were on. <laughs> no, you basically you the black you, yo. You the black Joe, man. He ain't got no hat, he just got a fro. Yo. Man, <laughs> he be patting his fro up after every bitch house. He be like, I'ma fuck this bitch in my van. All right, let's all right, let's 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 switch. Let's switch. All right, Junior, this, this is going this much then this and is then going far enough. This is going far enough. Oh, oh we left for real? Billy left saying, for real? Further. You say huh. uh, we live for real? No, I said did uh, Billy leave for real? Yeah, he did. <laughs> All of that shit was speculation. You don't want to be tied to no creepy shit. It's funny and jokes to us, but like people who first time coming in, they be like, yo, what the fuck is up with this nigga right here? Well, I, I'll tell you this. I can oh, only joke nigga. like that because I'm confident that I've done nothing wrong. That's how little I fuck around. So you'll Good. never hear a guilty person make in these jokes, they'll fucking leave like Billy did. Well, yeah, nigga, we didn't think you actually did all that stuff. I dipped too. I <laughs> 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 It's his show. I don't want him to think he had some creeper on. I yeah. can guarantee you nobody will say shit about me. That's how little I fuck around. I'm so supposed I, to be a feminist. You got me looking crazy out here. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm accepting this shit. Like, we no, know, man. We I know you good. You. Just, just chill on in, words bro. like devise. <laughs> 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 devise a plan. That never, yeah. never sounds good from inside a van. <laughs> fuck all that shit. Y'all been watching anything good on Netflix, Hulu, any of that type of shit? High score. Uh, yeah. High score. Yeah, like Is it score. good? It's super dope. It's uh it base it's like a documentary about um like the history of like it's not really the history of video games because that sounds boring. Like this was the first. Oh cartridge. yeah, no, nah, I, I, yeah, I saw that uh, when I was scrolling through, but I didn't get a chance to, to pick. To oh no, it's super dope. It talks about stuff you don't really be seeing like that, like how um. Uh, like the there was like a, a a group of college students that started modding arcade games like Pac-Man and stuff like that, and they got sued by the arcade company and ended up working for them. And then their modded version was of Pac-Man was Mrs. Pac-Man, like literally like super dope stuff like that, and just like the hit, how they were professional gamers back in the '80s, just like dope dope stuff like that. But I'm like two three episodes in, I, I would recommend it. All right, all right, that's what's up. What about you, Lou? Anything been catching your eye? Um, nothing that really caught my eye, but I was like trying to do my due diligence in this, uh, cause I'm writing scripts too, James. And I'm trying to like, everybody's like, oh my God, you need to like watch such and such and watch such and such. So everybody's like, yo, you need to watch Alien. Cause I'm writing this sci-fi right now. And I was like, man, Alien is trash. And they're like, nah, Sojourner Weaver is like, and I, but I watched it and it's still trash. Like that joint is trash. Alien? All of them. I watched Everyone all of Alien. Alien. I didn't. All of that was trash. I didn't like. Well, you've been over. You've been desensitized. First of all, me. first of all, let's be real. The first Alien, there was no aliens. It was one alien. Nobody even seen the alien. You didn't see the alien to the end of the movie. Aliens two was lit because she got a little rowdy. She got a little rah rah. She had a little girl. She was fighting with. I'm like, all right, cool. Kudos, kudos, kudos. Number three trash now you want a prison with all dudes and you and you had sex with the weakest looking dude that was in prison like come on get out of here and then you kill yourself in a blaze of glory and then the fourth one we resurrect her and we got nah man that was trash just it's this trash so Boiler. don't watch aliens none of wow. the aliens okay all four all right. i love it <laughs> okay i'm not I'm not, I, I didn't, I didn't all right. listen to all your slander. I just blocked you out. Uh, so you said Sigourney's name was Sojourney. I was like, like oh, hey, let, me Truth. Just, let me just, let me just block Sojourney, out. Sojourney, Sigourney, whatever, tomato, tomato, the tra it's trash, it's trash. Avatar lady, it's trash. First of all, oh. Alien is fire. I love Aliens. It's one of the, the best yeah. suspense thrillers out. 
Uh, you're not, you're not going to disrespect it. That's what you're not going to do. Okay. It's a phenomenal show. Uh, it's not, it's not, it's a great, it's a great, it's a great franchise. Don't Alien 2 is good. I'll give you that. Alien 2 was good, but the rest of them, we don't even need that. We don't well, need listen, that. Every, every, every good trilogy and so forth has an origin story that people kind of are like, and like the first Captain America. Oh, I looked at that as big trash, but the second and third one, come on. The, the, original, pa- the original Captain America, the, the, the He's the Brooklyn boy, Captain um, America. Yeah, America's American soldier. Yeah, that first one. That was that shit was trash. Me, the original <laughs> Captain America. The first huh? one, his origin story. Oh, the first movie. Yeah, with Marvel. The first one with Marvel. I thought that was trash. I thought that was big trash. What? It was kind of boring. I, no, I'm a, boy. I guess because I'm a Brooklyn girl, I was excited to see a Brooklyn boy on screen, like really repping Brooklyn back in that time. Even though he Chris wasn't. Chris Evans. Yeah, he was a Brooklyn boy in, in the movie. You didn't even know that. But it, it, he was only he was only Brooklyn as the character. He's not really from Brooklyn, is he? I know. I'm talking about the character in the movie. No, like, I didn't know Captain America was count. from New York. Huh? I liked I Captain, Captain America, America more than uh, Black Panther after, like, my second watch. You what? Which, which I know you ain't supposed to say, but, you know, I'm, like, a big Marvel guy. And, like, Black Panther just really, it was, it was just, I was so, everybody, I think, what the fuck? Somebody trying to hit me. I think everybody was just, like, <laughs> I'm in the world. Everybody was just like so happy to see black people on screen, which I was too. But like when you really think about the movie versus like Captain America, it's like, what what really happened? So which I Captain like America that. are you talking about? Civil War or the first oh, first? Oh, oh, all like the, the first Captain one? America were better than Black Panther as a movie. Now I enjoy Black Panther more just because I saw a bunch of niggas on screen. But as a movie, Black Panther was like. You know. now, Black, Panther, Black Panther was definitely better than the first uh, Captain America, bro. You, I can't go with you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> the first Captain, first Captain, America, Captain America was trash, bro. They could have they could have literally made that just like a like a a, a thirty minute uh, special. That could have just been a Marvel special. That that one was kind of trash. To you, you, boy, you know what it was too? Because I rewatched all the Marvel movies in chronological order, and I just watching it in order again. I just really fell in love with Captain America. He was literally a real hero. Like he was a puny little boy who went in through, was like, yo, I want to be a soldier. Do whatever you got to do. I'm going to be a sur- soldier and serve my country. So I was like, I get it, boy. I get it. Uh, that nigga racist. I don't care anybody. He Ooh. gave a shield to the black man. But I'm just saying, anyone, anyone frozen back in that time and then waking <laughs> up when <laughs> niggas have all this power is going to say, is, is going to, you know, say some derogatory things. In that is no, 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 because think about it. And remember when he went, when he was in war and he was actually fighting, he was fighting around some black soldiers too. He had a black soldier on his squad. Remember? And Especially if you war- Captain America, I feel like you racist. Like he's, yeah. he's called Nick Fury a nigga under his breath at least <gasps> seven times. <laughs> that, that's why when he woke up after being thawed out, he just broke out of that place. Thawed he's like, out. what is all these niggas doing on TV? <laughs> I have a uh, I have a, a a theory that James Davis does not give a damn about superheroes. <laughs> no, no. The Lakers uh, game I, is still I, on. I James haven't seen all of them. I haven't seen all of them. And I was like, I'm not even gonna front. I'm just this ain't my section of the show. Are you, know? you are you a big are you a big like uh, Marvel or DC guy or you, is that never been your thing? I'm I'm not a big. I'll see different movies like Spider Man. I thought the last was Endgame, the last uh, Avengers movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I saw that. You know, I was moved and everything, but I, I, I haven't seen all of them. Like, I haven't seen like Captain Marvel. You know, I uh, or like, same. Oh, you don't need. You don't need. You don't. You ain't missing nothing out with that one. Black, yeah. um, black. Captain Marvel was, might might have been the worst movie I, I've ever seen. <laughs> it was awful, and it's like I hate. Actually, I love shitting on it, but it's like I, I start slipping into just misogyny when I'm shitting on it. But it was a bad fucking movie, dog. Like they rushed it, they it rushed was, it just so they could release the last Avengers. That's, you know that's time, what happened, man. The things that was bad about it, it's like just she's just a strong woman and she can do everything, even though she ain't worked at nothing. Then the bitch go to outer space and it's like misogyny on different planets, like. How the fuck is there misogyny on a planet with octopus people? Where, 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 where did you get it? What was the movie? Wasn't there like, like a the Superwoman? Wasn't there a Superwoman movie that came out? That was fucking great. It, it was it was Wonder Super, Woman. No, Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. 
Wonder Woman that was, was amazing. Wonder Woman, that's what yeah. I meant. Wonder that Woman. was amazing. That was great, but Captain Marvel, this bitch, like her enemy was 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 misogyny. That, <laughs> that you, you were enemy. How is misogyny your enemy? The last fight. I'm sorry, I ain't gonna say shit because I talk about this forever. The last fight, you know, when you're supposed to fight the battle, I don't have to prove myself to you. Roll credits. What type of fucking movie is that? So <laughs> they didn't fight. No, oh. it's just like. Shot this nigga was like, I don't have to prove nothing to you. Nah, she used so, she used the power that created her to kill him. Like, yo, it's, it's every, like from the every, it's it's from one of the infinity stones, one of the infinity stone type world, and it's it's a lot. You gotta watch it. It's, they said they had this montage where all these men was just being mean to her, just like you know why they No, it wasn't. That wasn't the montage. You fucking it all up. The montage was <laughs> first of all, the montage showed her different stages in her life getting knocked down. No, and every not- time she gets up, it had nothing to do with men. There was no men no. in there. It was just it, her. There was a montage in that. I've seen this movie. Trust me, there was a montage. I've seen it too. Movie. We're not looking Whatever. at the same montage. <laughs> Can you remember when the guy said, you know why they call it a cockpit? And then she had failed and they said, you shouldn't be driving a, 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 a fucking race car or whatever. And then she was playing baseball and she fell. All these men was telling her that she's not good at nothing. But this is the kicker. The bitch wasn't good. Everything she did, it failed. When she drove the go-kart, the bitch crashed. When she was playing baseball, the bitch got hit. When she was climbing the rope, the bitch failed. The first and only time we saw saw her in an airplane, the bitch crashed and got accidental powers. Hey, you're when the last time you flew an airplane, nigga? When the last time you flew an airplane precise? When the last time you climbed the rope, Ron? When the last time you picked up a rope well, and climbed Lulu, it? in all fairness, out of every nigga in this Zoom chat, I feel like Ron would be the one to fly the shit out of a plane. <laughs> Are you He's serious? Right now. Negative. <laughs> <laughs> Negative. <laughs> I'm just saying. Terrible movie, but you know, whatever. Great. I I've mean, girl, girl power. Well, uh, James, what you been watching? And please, please don't say anything. The Lakers about- game. No, no. I, I mean, no. Uh, uh, I've been watching random stuff like Unsolved Mysteries on Netflix. That's uh, oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, Yo, there's some yeah, crazy that's... ones on that, dude. The Alien. Okay. Did, you, did you also see the Alien one? Yes. Yo. Which one is that? That's that's like, alien that's Unsolved like Mystery. The fourth one. That's like yeah. the third, fourth one. Yeah. I mean, because it's like. Anytime I hear alien stories, I believe in aliens, but I always like look at people sketchy who are like, it happened to me. They lifted my body. Right. Next thing I know I'm in the spaceship with this girl from my town who I probably had a little crush on. Like, it's like, it's it's weird, but I'm into it. I buy into it. And then tr- uh, Trial by Media, that's also that on one. Netflix. That's about- Trial uh, by Media? Yeah, the first episode is about a guy who, a gay dude went on the Jenny Jones show and told a, another dude that he had a crush on him. That dude, he, he like, he acted a little uncomfortable. Then days later, he was like, you embarrassed me. Went up to that dude and killed him. After being- I heard on, about this story. Show. Over a I, crush? It was on Jenny Jones though. This is yeah. before social media, like, you know. <laughs> so that, it's on TV. Wait, so that that's, on, that's on Netflix? Up, they, they ended up suing Jenny, the Jenny Jones show. And it was like a, a whole like trial. Yeah, I'd be watching just random like d- docu series, and then I'm just starting to watch uh, wow. that HBO Alien Black People show. Uh, love craft, love yeah, 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 love, love war, craft country, something one. like yeah. That Is one. it good? I, I've heard good things about it. I heard good yeah, things about it. It's the good. Episode. It's good. I like it. I like that one. And then on Netflix, there's another uh, show called Dark. I don't know if you guys watch that. It's like a time traveling show. Is it's it another good. language? Yes. Okay. Very good. That. So what language? language? Not that that matters. I'd be subtitling. Yeah, it was, I think it's German or whatever. And then, but uh, uh, what's the heist? Uh, oh, money heist. Money heist. Money heist is so you forget, you don't even realize it's in another language. Like they they dub it so well. It Yo. took me like three episodes. I was like, are they speaking Spanish? Like what? I normally don't dub. You three episodes for you to realize they weren't speaking your language. <laughs> hey man, I be I be smoking some shit. I was like, man, are these motherfuckers? Is this English? Like they bounce Wait, no did food you not to have say. subtitles on? Nah, because no, sometimes it's dubbed over. It's, it's dubbed, dubbed over. over. Uh, so they, 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 it's originally oh, I, okay. recorded in Spain, and then they had ADR come in. It's and was the like, best dubbing ever, though. Like I, I don't think I've ever seen anything dubbed that good. Because I'm just like, damn. Like I'm yo, in- 
Because I tried to watch other Netflix shows that were different language and the dubbing is not the same. It's not Because I like when I watch something for the first time, I like to watch the actor's expressions and how they roll. So I don't like watching the subtitles because it takes away from me yeah. watching their yeah. craft. That's so I, 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 yeah, so I'll put the subtitles on following, but Money Heist, you forget, like you don't even realize. That's why the third episode, I was like, something, the lips look a little, it was like one scene. I was like, hey. You know is what it that is? Close? It'd be good dubbing, but then you know it's dubbing because then randomly there's be a super Caucasian voice that comes out of nowhere <laughs> that don't match the face. Like you get out of here, and then I'll get the gun. So be like, hey, 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 we're in Brazil, bro. Let's try. <laughs> yeah, let's try a little bit. Right? Yeah. Oh I shit! Like I missed the. Uh, we missed the uh, the Brandy Monica versus. Was, was that today? It's tonight. Yeah. No, it's the thirty first. 31st? Okay, okay. I was like, damn, did we miss that? I ain't seen nobody talking about it. Well, y'all got y'all, are y'all excited about that? I'm not. <laughs> I really haven't been excited for a, the, like since Snoop and DMX. That Snoop and DMX one was Incredible. that was legendary though, boy. Yeah, that was great. I haven't watched any since too. But like Brandy and Monica, like maybe I just missed that wave, but it's like the only song I know is The Boy Is Mine, and that's both of them. So I, I, I feel like I won't be like keeping score. Like, what hit are they going to play next? Like, right. I, <laughs> I feel like I feel like Brandy got more hits anyway. I can't name ten Monica hits. Oh, to like, the eat to the. That's a hit alone. So it's like, what what is Monica going to bring out besides the Rugrats song? The Rugrats uh, song. Uh, mm-hmm. Remember the, the the soundtrack to Rugrats? I thought Ain't that was Maya. Maya. That's Maya. Hmm. That in the that in the verses for me because I I'm, I'd be sitting there like oh this is educational never heard this and one. give never me Lil heard. Wayne versus uh, oh. old Little Wayne new Little Wayne versus old Little Wayne I'll take that no that's a that's a wash that's a wash on who yeah. old Little Wayne on new Lil Wayne what are you talking yeah. about yeah yeah the new Little Wayne. That's what oh, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah I'm like old, like old, like. I'm with Patrick. Like New Little Wayne is just gonna get destroyed. I don't. Yeah. I don't want to hear any New Little Wayne. Who yeah. would be a good matchup for Lil Wayne? That's a good question. Young Thugger. No. See who's really Dude, better. No. no. Absolutely not. No. What the Pat is I the biggest Young the Thug fan ever, and I just be like, nah, bro. Hey, you know what? I love Young Thug. Play some Young Thug any day. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, not Davis, versus ladies no, and gentlemen. Not versus old Little Wayne. That that just yeah. no, no, that's not. That's what no, I mean. That's, that's where Young Thug got his style from. There's young no way that is, was Young Thug is go- like killing. Young yeah, Thug has been killing literally since he came out on the low. Grandfather of trap. Go, just wait ten years and 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 mark my words. No, no he. There's a couple. Grand, you can't. You can't say grandfather of trap. And okay, it's Young Jeezy. Jeezy here. What young Jeezy is grandfather. Yo, low grandson. I'm just There's saying a, he is the he is the epitome of rap in this age right now. He's he's oh. just post Little Wayne. As soon as Little Wayne started fizzling, Young Thug was like, "I got it." Yeah. And like, even to the yeah. point where he wanted to do the Carter Six. You remember that? Yeah. yeah. That was weird. Oh no, he actually did that, right? There, there's a lot of Young Thug mm-hmm. songs that I like, and I didn't even realize it was him. Yeah. And everybody was like, "Yo, that's Young." I'm like, "Yo, I've been bumping this for like a cool month." What do you think it was Wayne? I give you that. I mean, he I, can't go against a, a, a go against a, a Wayne. I don't know who can go against because nobody's Eminem? been in the game. Nobody. Eminem. 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 Maybe. Maybe. Is that a good matchup? But I would say Old Wayne. Wayne off top. You say what? What you say, Ron? Oh, little Wayne versus Eminem. I, 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 that's the best I can think of. Maybe. That's Maybe not that bad. But that's not that bad because Little Wayne. I mean, Eminem got to a point where I was like, kind of cool on him too. So yeah. like, Eminem has bars, but like his main main hits, I'm not into. Like, I'm not afraid <laughs> to take a stand, everybody. Like after, I'm, I hate to say it, I hate to say it, but after he got off drugs, I was just off it because like. It sucks, but like some niggas need drugs to do music. Like right. Miles Davis was not hitting after he put down the heroin. I'm sorry. But like Lil Wayne, when he started like lose yourself in the music, the moment you want it. Like it's like it's like hype up music before you go skydiving. Like I don't I don't do like that. I don't do stuff this like might, that. People might not really fuck with this because people like like confuse music with lyrics, and I'm more of a music guy, but I I really Same. think a good matchup with Lil Wayne would be 50 Cent. No. You talk about hit versus hit? 50 Cent had two albums worth of hits, though. 
50 but Cent got had, hit. Every, Time out. 50 Cent got hit. He do. No, no, no. He do. But I'm just saying, Lil Wayne was like a long period of time, and 50 Cent was a long period of mixtapes, and then he had Get Rich, and then The Massacre, and then it was kind of like nothing really. But after you, also, you only do 20 songs. Well, here's the thing, though, Ron. Here's the thing. Wayne well, has fire albums and fire mixtapes. 50 had two, one fire album, one decent album. Then after that, everything else was just kind of like, yeah. Well, actually, actually, to be fair, to be fair, Lil Wayne had the Carter one, the Carter two, and then a lot of like the drought, you know, no ceilings. A lot of those degrees. were mixed. I can't yeah, feel my face. Too. He what? 500 degrees, Lil Wayne. I'm tripping. You're right. You're right. And he's coming back out with I can't feel my face too with Joel. Yeah, but nobody's really excited about that, Lulu. Let's be honest. I was. I know he was because I can't feel my face. Fans right there. I can't can't feel feel my face. That's my shit right there. And he's coming out with another two. Joel's fresh out of jail. He got bars. He was locked up. I don't need to hear Joel's anymore. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think you know it's together. They have the same feel. I get them together. Joel Santana. Are you talking about Joel Santana? Is epic. Are you talking about Joel Santana? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Nigga, Joel Santana don't slap the same if you don't got a 4X white tee on. <laughs> yeah. We got to hop in a hot tub time machine if we gonna that, <laughs> that was an error. That was an error. You know what? That, that was low-key like when Cassidy came back. We were like, mm. Yeah, it's okay. No, okay. no. <laughs> nobody was nobody was excited for Cassidy's return. Nobody was like, you know what the game been missing? Cassidy. Cassidy. I'm not, Love I'm not Cassidy. Cassidy. I'm not, uh, this is my last try. I'm not a fan of Fabulous, but Lil Wayne and Fabulous? Lil Fabulous Wayne got Wayne? fire mixtapes. Fire, he got like a uh, funeral service. Like I'm, you know, summertime shootout one, summertime shootout two, summertime yeah. shootout three. What are you talking about? Uh, Fabulous, Fabulous albums? Yeah. yeah. Fabulous I don't know Lil any Wayne. of Wayne albums. So no, I don't it, know. Fab stuff, all of it doesn't hit the way it used to. Fab only has a like a handful of timeless, like I want to hear that Fab song right now. But if it was like 2002, I'd be like, play all that. Just let it, just let it, the whole album, yeah. the whole mixtape rock. So y'all wasn't yeah. rocking with the new Summertime Shootout 3? Y'all wasn't rocking with that? I honestly don't know what that is. I didn't even know <laughs> I, no, I'm serious. I didn't know there was a one or two. First of all, Summertime Shootout, it sounds way too fun for how violent it, it is. That's New York, <laughs> but that's just New summer York in the summer. Shootout. In the summer, it's always, especially in Brooklyn, you just known for the summer, it's a shootout. Every summer, it's a shootout. So it's kind of like- That's not good. That's I know, like- <laughs> I didn't say it was. I didn't that's say it was. I'm so wait, what is that- it like? It's like when, when, when niggas wake up and be like, oh shit, it's 90 degrees, niggas gonna get shot today. Like yep, niggas, niggas would just load up because it's hot outside? If everybody get Aggie B, it's hot. It's hot and New everybody York, in the streets. New York, is, it's in the summertime, it smells. You know? It's muggy. It's hot I, all day. It's like tall ass buildings and only like a third of the rooms got AC. It's I got like, shot at, at, a, at, a, at a, in the park, there was a, um, a baby shower. I got shot at, at a baby shower <laughs> in the summertime. I'm ducking, I'm running, hiding behind cars at a baby, baby shower. shower. In the summertime that, in New York, somebody handed me their baby. I was like, "This ain't my baby!" Like, <laughs> I just, like hey, after the shots, somebody handed you. They were shooting, and I was like, "Yo, I gotta go." They was, and I was like, "Whose baby is this?" And Wait, they was who's giving like, up the baby after a shooting? It ain't my baby. I'm out, B. I'm oh, out. Oh yeah, no, it wasn't yeah. passed to you after it started shooting. You no, already I, had them. I had it during the shooting, oh, okay. and I and I just. Uh, oh, I, I definitely, I'm with Pat. I thought somebody had like, it got crazy and they're like, I, 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 I take away my responsibility. It's your baby now. Right, right, right. No, no, somebody wasn't trying to claim their responsibility. I was like, yo, I gotta go. So, so wait, do you hey. think that the, the buildings like trap in that heat? Is that why it's so hot? Cause I only went to New York in, during the summer once and I swore it off between May and August. Yeah. Yeah, summertime it's, it's just muggy. It's, it's just, 80 degrees it's, all day. It's not just New York though. It's St. Louis in the summertime, the murder rate goes up. Chicago in the summertime, the murder rate goes up. Uh, New York, New Orleans in the summertime, the murder rate goes up. I think it's just something about the heat, man. People get irritated and they don't want to talk. They just shoot, man. But question, somebody in the comments said um, Kanye versus Lil Wayne. Mm. Now that's also not fair because Kanye has so much more than Wayne. Yeah. Like, you, you have to have somebody who's off. like even with Wayne. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. Cause how many albums does Kanye have? Hella. Five. Graduation, late registration, graduation. Uh, I the am Nightmare, the guy that Yeezus one. 808s, 
uh, Beautiful Nightmare. He got like eight. Pablo, he got hella. But whereas, like, Wayne got I can ten, only... don't Wayne got ten albums too? Though that shit. Don't Wayne count. got the Carter one through three and five hundred degrees. No, no, Wayne we're has talking studio more. albums. We ain't talking mixtape. We talking studio. Yeah, we talking about studio albums. No, yeah. it's not studio albums because they've been doing features and shit. Dmx did an Aaliyah song. If you did, so yeah, that's, that's still a studio album. It's not a mixtape with All features right. from the Wayne studio. Can ha- Wayne can hang in there, hang in there because of the features. Because he got listen. A- Wayne a- Wayne has he first album was Block is Hot, then he got the Carter, then he got oh no, no Block is Hot, then he 500. had um five hundred uh, lights out. No lights out. Then 500 degrees. Uh, then he had the Carter. Then he had the Carter two. Then he had the Carter three. He got the Wait, Carter like four. father, like son. What was that? That, that was, was like a that compilation. A that's him and that's him and, and um baby. Baby. Yeah. But he got Ooh. six Carters out. He low key had We Are Young Money though. What was on that? That's a that's a joint album though. I'm gonna only was- give Lil Wayne the three Carters and 500 degrees in the block is hot. I don't know what that middle one was. Man, he but. got he got rebirth. He got I am not a human being. Not saying all of those count. I mean, all of those was slap, but he nope. had at least one hit on each record, and he got we know four or five solid ass albums. But here's the thing: once he hit I am not a human being, and it started in t- where the singles were I'm gonna pick the world up and I'm gonna drop it on your fucking head. Yeah. That's where I'm out. So it's like I give him from 500 degrees. No, excuse me. The block is hot to the Carter three and the Carter three was like iffy for me, you know? So I feel like Kanye has had solid projects up until Yeezus. So I I just think that that's not fair. If we're just going hit wise, Lil Wayne obviously had a bigger mark on rap, but I think if we're just going hits, Kanye is in a tier above Lil Wayne just in terms of hits. I think they're on the same tier in terms of celebrity and influence. But if we're talking just hits, like with- But hold on, wait, so, so, so you, said up, you said you said Lil Wayne up until what what album? I would honestly say Rebirth, but I'll give him until the one after that. So, all right, so that's 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 at least six albums with that. If you start- but How many with, tracks are playing Carter, in one, the two, three, 500 degrees and- Oh, Lock so you starting at Carter, you starting at Carter, you're not starting at- um. No, I said 500 degrees and Block is Hot. Okay, okay, so Block is Hot, and then uh, Lights Out was the second album, then 500 degrees. And what then was on Lock, Lights Out, though? What hits could he play on Lights Out? Lights Out, Mask On, Creep Silent, Lights nope. Out. But nope. it's all the, here's the thing, all the nope. real Wayne fans, like all the That's real my jam, Wayne though, fans, I like they that. that. They know but think that. about they it. don't want to hear that. But think about it. Lights Out, in terms of Lil Wayne's category, never brought up. So he's against Kanye. So you got to think what out what what single would Kanye drop that's going to lose to that song? Don't let None. it be stronger or None. on. You know what I mean? It would have to be some early early Kanye stuff. To what end. about what about Kanye versus Pharrell? When we go producer rapper versus producer rapper. That'd be cool. I I'd, I'd be there for that. But like who would be good for Wayne? Cuz Kanye's I think in hit wise in a, a tier above would y'all really watch think, a Wayne versus? I don't think Absolutely. Kanye would. Watch, I don't think Kanye would watch Wayne the way you are, you're thinking, Pat. I, I don't, I'm, I don't with, I'm with to hear. Watch. I don't think so either. I don't think that'll be a watch. And, and here's the thing: he's gonna do stuff from the mixtape. I guarantee he's gonna do some shit from the drought. Mixtapes are allowed. I, I I agree with you guys. There's and then, no and way and he's then, gonna watch Wayne. Remember, like, it's not like comparing their actual catalog to each other. Is it, I mean, if we talk about that, then we talk about that. But we talk about verses. They have what twenty? You only need twenty songs, but it's still hit for hit. Yeah, it, 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 but it ain't like Wayne ain't got twenty hits, and but that's it's hit, but it's also what slaps because that's what you realize with like a Jada Kiss in a Fab or a DMX versus Snoop is like DMX had hits like Fab yeah. had hits, but Jada's Jada's hits were slapping. So like little Kanye is gonna have hits. Every song he does in the verses will be a hit. But Lil Wayne will slap and like have people like like vibe and like on some like hot boys if he does a hot boys lyric if he does oh when I gobble the gobble the da 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 whatever that song is like some of, some of the songs is like so nostalgic it's like it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be more popping than just like a Kanye like 808 song even though that was a hit it's like Lil Wayne gonna bring the club to the verses in that moment so then you might want to give the point to Lil Wayne because. Cause I've seen I've seen verses where like the two songs were great, but the song that felt more like the club and that had people like more vibing 
that had the people in the comments like, oh, he won on that one. That's why oh. T-Pain and Lil Jon's verses was so popping because they were playing so many like club hits and bangers and had people rocking. It was like, man, it was a close call, but it wasn't really that many hits. They yeah, were just I'll, jamming. I'll just <laughs> say this. When we saw Ludacris and Nelly, and it was truly hit for hit, like, like James said, you really got to see <laughs> whose music aged well. You know what I mean? Because even though numbers wise, they were both hits, Nelly stuff just slapped crazy. more. You know what I mean? Like there were uh, like, there was like at least five Nelly songs that either I didn't remember or I remembered fully, but it just did not <laughs> hit the same, you know? And I think that Wayne has that for sure. M mainly all of his hits still hit in some, in some type of way. Whereas not every artist is like that. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. I love Kanye. But if you put through the wire against right Nate, most of Lil Wayne's hits, that's a way you're gonna be like, oh, I remember Lil Wire through the wire. This is dope. But then when Wayne plays his thing, you probably gonna start dancing. So it, I, don't I, don't I don't know. know. I can't Lil, agree Lil with Wayne, that. I don't Lil Wayne know. has eleven number one hits. That's that's not talking like 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 fan favorites. That's not talking mixtapes. We're talking eleven Billboard number one hits. That's a lot, bro. That's a lot. Yep. That's that's that again. That's not tapping into the mixtapes. That's not talk, tapping into like diehard fans' favorite tracks on the albums. We just talking about Billboard, bro. Like that's a lot, bro. But I'm just saying, numbers wise, obviously Wayne is crazy, and I was I honestly like Wayne more than Kanye. <laughs> but if we're just talking about these two giants going at each other, when when Kanye starts playing stuff like Stronger, like actual main 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 hits. It's just, it, I'm sorry, like as much as I love Wayne, I'm not trying to have no Lane, Wayne blasphemy or anything, but it's just like, it's a different kind of beast. Like you didn't really hear Wayne in movies and like, you know, I like, like that. Commercials you know, like, and all that stuff, you know, like Kanye really got those looks. So if we're just going hits, that's a different beast. Now, if you're including mixtape stuff and just stuff that I personally like, I'm obviously gonna ride with Wayne. But if we're talking about the versus rules, you I, just wanna, I just want to point this out. I just want to point this out. Of the 83 tracks that have made it on Billboard from Kanye, four have number one. 15 have reached the top 10, and 41 have made it to the top 40. Kanye got four number ones? This, this is, this I is swear it was more. This what is what they? Billboard says. Is that WikiLeaks? No, what are this, they? This is, this is www.billboard.com. What are they? Uh, let me see if it'll pull it up. I don't believe that. I feel like it's I, more. I, 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 that sounds weird to me too. I'm just telling you what Billboard Maybe has. Maybe that's why like Kanye's four. so pissed. Now I get it. You only got mm -hmm. four number ones. Nigga got like eight yeah. albums. You only got four number lot, ones. Think about the niggas who had a full career and didn't reach one number Yo, one. Yo, I would interrupt everybody's award show. I'm, I get it. I, I don't even feel bad no more. Fuck mm -hmm. it. I would... People are saying Ti versus Wayne. Mm. I'd watch it. I would. I'd watch that before I watch Kanye versus Wayne. I feel like I that's, watch, a, I watch that's more too. similar I'd in the, in the in the vibe. What, that, that 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 fits more because I think a thing that people don't mention a lot is the vibe of the music. Like, that's what I'm saying. You have hits, for hits like, but you're not gonna put. I mean, who who's one of the greatest? You're not gonna put Jay Z versus Stevie Wonder. It's like. They might have the same amount of hits, but they're two different vibes. So like, if you right. pick the same vibe then maybe Lil Wayne and T.I. It's maybe. literally like Pitbull versus anybody. Like Pitbull would probably have more hits, <laughs> but every yeah, single time you'd be like, bro, Pitbull. turn this shit off. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yeah, Ooh, what, who was that swole dude from Miami who was like the, another version of Pitbull? Flori yeah. Florida? Yeah. Florida? Florida <laughs> versus Pitbull. Who so, you, if, if you, now that you mentioned it, you're right. If you go hits, who gonna be Flo Rida and Pitbull and fucking Neo's latter half of his career if you're going hit? I mean, we might as well put Flo Rida versus Pitbull and just miss that versus. <laughs> 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 That's what I would do. They just have make all the playlist. fucking Florida. Let have all Florida tune in and have nobody else give a damn. No. Because just nobody, make a playlist. Just if you in Vegas, you better not play. Uh, unless you in Vegas, you better not play no Pitbull. I'm looking at this now and it says Lil Wayne has four number one hits, 28 top 10 hits, and 62 songs. The other information that I gave y'all before was like 20, I'm sorry, that was 11 singles that Wayne was either on 
or it was his single. So he might not, it might not have been his song, but he was you on out here. You give my, give my, the numbers. It's, it's even then, it's four and four. Who are you, Russia? It's, it's four <laughs> four. I clarified it though. I clarified it. That's all I'm saying. I clarified it. You clarified it when someone called you out though. Uh, <laughs> nobody called me out. Uh, nobody called me out. Yeah, when the verses started, that was my thing. Cause what, cause you know, it was producers at first and somebody was telling me like, nobody can beat Dr. Dre. And I was like, you know, because his catalog is so vast. And then it was like, yeah, probably the only one is Quincy Jones, but now you're going into a whole different genre of music. So I think like this very important is finding the right type of music. And I don't, Lil Wayne and Kanye, them like two different, two different fields. You I feel know? that. They both, you yeah. fuck with them both. They two different fields. I love Kanye love versus hear. Jay. Yeah. What you say? What you say? Hmm? I was I was saying I would love to hear. Um, uh, fuck, took it out my head. Sorry, Pat. Go ahead. I'll come back. To <laughs> I said I would see Kanye versus Jay before anything else. I feel like they'd be a dope matchup too because you don't really know off top when you just hear that. You don't really know who's better until you hear the songs themselves. And I think I that's what I think Jay-Z got a single song that make you bob your head or dance, though. That's not true. Oh, you never heard of Big Pimpin'? You never heard of Big Pimpin'? Oh. All right. You said you haven't heard Ace, so you could take your statement all the way back. Jay-Z in that van, ASAP. What? It's one. Which one do you dance to? Which one, what Jay-Z song is going to get you a dance? I'm a hustler, oh. baby. I just want oh. you to know. It ain't where I'll be. No one can. You better. I'm, I'm all up in the club with all of these. I'm just. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to look for the girl twerking. I don't see her twerking. You gotta get out the van, bro. You gotta get out the van, man. <laughs> There's a lot of bitches that do things out of the van, and they live in life, and they did to the Jay Z. Yes. Yes, you wrong. Look, maybe I'm wrong. I've never seen a girl twerk and heard Jay Z rapping at the same. I've just never Excuse seen. Excuse me, it. miss. You know, like that's that's a big trip. What strip clubs are y'all going to? <laughs> oh, if, if it's just strip club music, what's your name? I've never seen that. Well, now we're going to strip clubs for validation. <laughs> no, but if we go back to the vibe thing, it's just like you go, you know, you hear you hear Jay Z like girls been twerking, thing. girls been twerking the girls, girls, girls for a lifetime. Girls, Nobody's girls, twerking girls, the girls, girls, big. girls, Lulu. I can't go with you on the now. remix. You never heard the remix. I heard the remix. Girls, really girls, never seen nobody... girls, 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 do, girls, do, girls, girls. What about Girl. that? Yeah, I, I, I don't think that have a... Yes, nigga, so when you see the D-O-double-G? What, 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 what song was that? <laughs> no. Yeah. Come on, hey, man. whatever happened to that nigga Nocturnal? Who's <laughs> that? You remember the nigga that was like, um, yeah, he was he on that was song with Dre. Cube, like Ice Cube or something. Or was it Dre? Yeah, it was oh, like, oh. and what I'm saying, oh. and what I'm that's saying. What, she creeps and sleeps within the th That's what I want to see. I want to see and Dr. Dre. And she really Dre. know is your hoe wants to oh, be with me, and she ain't oh, playing. And what I'm saying. He sounded like what a mafia hell? boss. I don't know what the hell that is. Yeah. I you remember that song? No, I don't, I don't remember I that at remember. all. Oh, wait. Play up, you don't remember that song that was like boom, 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 boom. It was a really bad beat, but it was like boom, 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 boom. And, and it was like that guy with, he sounded like a mafia boss. He was like, all I really know is your whole wants, wants to be with me. me and she ain't playing. Oh, yeah. I know, I know that. I know that. Right? Yeah, 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 I had yeah, so yeah. much hope for him and I just didn't. You did? Oh, you did? That one. voice? No, no. I don't know. Oh, I don't know who no. said it. I don't know if it was Sheriff J or Say Go, but somebody said Big Sean versus Wale. Wale? There it go. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. That song. At least a hundred niggas started playing flute after that song. <laughs> 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 hey, you heard that new Nocturnal? <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, I, I dead ass. I want to see. I want to see Dr. Dre versus Diddy, like what? Like, versus the hits that they produced. Diddy. Wait, 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 wait. Diddy didn't it, put. Did, Diddy yeah. didn't touch a, a piano or a, a computer for half of them. Songs. That's not what the credits say. That's not what the credits that nigga say. nigga invited them. That's, that's why. That's Diddy not what the credits say. Diddy was doing this. He was texting. Hey. Even even piano, if he right? gets. Even if he gets credit, even if P. Diddy gets credit for every song that he produced, I don't think it's fucking with Dre's shit just for how 
vast his his catalog. You got like, you got Diddy doing Mary. You got Diddy doing Biggie. You got Diddy doing Jodeci. You got Diddy doing Diddy Mace. does everybody. Diddy did it yeah, all. Wait, wait, Black Greg Rob, G Depp, Loon, Carl Thomas, um, Craig Mack, uh, Total Heavy D. Wait, 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 wait. You Heavy put D? Loon on that list? You put Loon on that list? He, he, said a Loon. he had a, he had a song on the compilation. Dirty Money, Danity Kane. A26. If you, if you don't give him all that, first of all, now you're getting crazy. Because that was just that? That if, if you were signed to Diddy, he's gonna play the song. Yeah, like <laughs> you're giving him credit for everything. That's insane. He's not gonna but, be, you're not gonna be rapping on none of it. He's just gonna be doing this the whole time. <laughs> take that, take you that. All of NWA, you got NWA, you got all of Snoop Dogg, you got all of all Snoop of Dogg displayed Snoop, all, all of Snoop Dogg, and that was boring. You said what? That you was boring. Snoop was boring. I'm just Snoop was boring. Let's know. You know Snoop wasn't boring. Boring. Snoop. You got, I didn't grow up on Snoop. I didn't wake up like, ooh, let me put on my Snoop. No, nah, that wasn't me. I didn't do that. For Snoop, I woke that, up that putting battle, on Jay. That battle would have been boring if it wasn't for Snoop and DM in that DMX battle. If it wasn't for Snoop, that battle would have been boring. DMX could What? Because he danced? Yeah. No, because that's he great. Had, and that's he had good, good energy. Like if you if you go back and look at the battle when it first started, DMX was like super chill. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you're like, I'm gonna let the music speak. That's right? him. That's Snoop, him. Snoop made That's it him. fun though. Snoop made it fun though. Snoop, Snoop a fun nigga. He a fun nigga. He wear bonnets. I trust all niggas who wear bonnets. Even though he okay. was dope, even though he was dope, he still was 50%. You know what I mean? Like a good versus is 50% one energy, 50% the other energy. Like like uh Jill Scott and Erica Badu. Wait. Yeah, like Bounty yeah. Killer, Bounty the the the, the Jamaican that really, versus that really might have been the littest one. That yeah, I missed that one. Yo, that I put it on lit. and danced the whole time. I was clean. I cleaned the whole house, whole house top to bottom. I cleaned shit that didn't even need to be clean. I cleaned the freezer. I do seem man fun. shit, and I just had a great time. Like literally, oh. and they, their energy was lit. They were like, 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 they was like playing like twenty stuff. seconds a song too. Like here's another one. All right, <laughs> then move on. Just like and and they, the cops they came through. Jill Scott and Erica Badu or after? Before I think they were after? No, they were before. Way before. It had to be before because Jill Scotts and Erica Badu's those got me into the verses. I didn't yeah. see the first one. They were they were definitely after because I remember I was I was tired from that. I was like I don't I could do another verses. That joint was so lit. It was like an after party. Oh, after <laughs> Teddy Riley, I I took a little break. I was like I'm good. <laughs> I didn't I don't see know, that either. I don't. I don't know if it's. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I don't know if it's Detron, a, a Detron, Neutron. You know, you know, said you know. Young Thug versus Future. Let's go. I'm here for that. I'm pulling up with Lean and my I'm I'm never done. I've never done Lean before in my life, but best believe I'm pulling up with at least a line or two. Yo, I have. That, that is not that's fun. Great. Don't do that's it. A, don't do it. That's a great. No, I'll fall asleep. <laughs> Can I say my unpopular opinion? Uh, I'm I'm really not. I'm not saying he's bad. I'm just I'm not <laughs> really. I'm not really a fan of Future. I don't I don't get it. I know that. <laughs> Is anybody in the Zoom surprised by that, nigga? You make it who? <laughs> you make who? <laughs> you, you don't play. Actually, you don't play actually, Future in your van. <laughs> That is not a hooch making drink. I feel like he is playing Eminem in his van. Like my palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms oh, Eminem I'm is for sure a van, a van. He's bombing on a sweater already. I'm not afraid. <laughs> While you're making your meth, to you take a stand, everybody. Now, 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 good verses would be Miles Davis and Charlie Parker. Now that'd be a good verse. Right oh, not all now. trumpets. A all trumpets. trumpets. <laughs> Just the whole thing, just then we're like. <laughs> that, yeah. that King Cole don't got shit on Frank Sinatra. That's all and, I got. And, and Cab Calloway. No, look, I fuck with with Thug, but just the the I don't I haven't got the future thing. It's just like I, it's like you don't sounds, like any future. You gotta get into your toxic masculinity bag. That's up your alley. You. That's all you. That's all you. You should be bumping. Here's future. the thing. Anybody who loves yeah. Thug, not not Thug, anyone who loves like a future, they know it's not good. You know what I mean? Like no yeah. future fan 
would be mm -hmm. like, go into like a, a battle and be like somebody says Erica Badu and someone says Beethoven and then someone says like some other genius and then they're like future you know like <laughs> everyone really really loves future just enjoys it for what it is a dope ass beat a, a toxic nigga who can talk his shit but mm -hmm. also knows how to rap enough to the point where he rides rides the beat like super dope. Is he a rapper though? It just makes you feel like you sell dope. Yeah, that's all the that's those are the three ingredients and that's yo, good enough. Low key, I only listen to future so I can listen to lyrics and flip them and then reverse it to apply it to niggas and then I use it as captions yeah. on Instagram. That's, that's all fun. that's all I this use future for. I heard that he was like that he you know embodied toxic masculinity. I've never understood his lyrics enough I guess or listen well, to here's, him. Here's like, the interesting thing about future. His lyrics didn't really embody that for him. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> all, all rappers are misogynistic and talk about hoes and stuff like that. Like that didn't seal it. It wasn't until what he was doing in his personal life came out. Mm -hmm. Like the uh, I'm good, love, and joy. Like that whole stuff, like it's all that stuff that made him <laughs> our coach for toxic yeah. toxic masculinity, you know? And like, the eight baby mamas that he'd be like personal. not acknowledging it yeah. Young Thug, like, I like that shit. Like, he's actually rapping at some point, And, like, I wouldn't call him a singer, but his voice is very interesting. And then, like, Future, I'm like, it's, he, he's not necessarily a rapper or a singer. Future is, no, Fu Young Thug is necessary for rap because you can actually, I people are saying, like, ah, mumble rap, I don't understand it right now. But I guarantee it, like, I'm even seeing it from rappers now, like, five years, ten years from now, he's going to be seen as, like, not as high as Eminem is, but like what Eminem did for rap in terms of like influencing others, you can't, you can't, you can't doubt Young you Thug. You talk about Young Thug? You can't doubt Young Thug's influence. Everybody who is popular right now almost has ha has some Young Thug influence. Future influences sound, but not really like rap style or lyrics, you know? Like, like Future isn't really like the dude who you'd pull out for like a rap conversation, but people like him enough in his style to, for him to be popping, but Young Thug, I'm telling you guys, I'm getting all this flack now. He what is. To, you he wouldn't have. You wouldn't have. Nigga right you now. wouldn't have Gunna, Little Baby, Nav, oh, all these people. What and happened to Trinidad James? You just Where did that come know? from? Because <laughs> <laughs> when I every time I see Young Thug, I think for whatever reason it was like around that Trinidad James vibe, where it's like you know the gold chain and the dirty look, and I was like, if they were like together in some kind of way. But what happened? That James is in the same box as designer, you know, like yes, came, came and went. What happened yeah. to, to Rich Homie Quan? Same, bro. Oh, same. same. Bro, I thought Quan was gonna blow. Me big too. Big oh. Yeah. What happened, bro? The dresses. The dresses oh, got him. Thug. Young Thug. He, he, but he didn't. Rich Homie didn't do dresses too. Nah, that's Young Thug. Rich Homie. Actually, was the normal or of the <laughs> people, that's why yeah. people thought Rich Homie was gonna blow up. Rich Homie's ah, gonna be the one. I think he, I think he got canceled after he like was rapping Biggie lyrics and like forgot him, and then people was like, "Fuck!" Oh it. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. didn't do it though. People have done <laughs> no? that. I think it was literally just inconsistency. Yeah. That I don't know. On top of not knowing Biggie lyrics. Yeah. On yeah. Top. Cause yeah. Thug always kept, he just kept putting out music, kept putting out music. But I really thought, I really thought the, uh, um, Rich Homie was gonna blow, man. I he had a cool little name. Yeah. It was like, you, you know, my, my homies, my buddies. I felt, I felt like the South embraced him faster than they embraced Thug too. Like <laughs> nobody could put they, nobody could put Thug in a box so they didn't understand him. And he just, he just stayed with it though. And then Rich Homie, really I think he left, he left Rich Game. And Thug uh, stayed that's around. Right. That's and right. Yeah, yeah, so Rich Homie was like, I'm gonna just do it independent. And we didn't hear from him for a while. And you know. I mean, you really can't say no to a nigga in a dress. I mean. The comedian Watts Homie Quan is bigger than Rich Homie Quan. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> yeah, what's your music? Yeah. Like, don't you do music? Huh? Ooh. Don't you do music? I do. Where is it? His it music got, is good. I got like three albums <laughs> out. That that got some Spotify hit. not popping. What, what, why do you ask? <laughs> <laughs> we're, Ron, we're talking about popping artists right now. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what are you? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's there. It's being made. <laughs> it's been made. When I, video, when I see a video like you playing the piano or something, I'm like, 
I be thinking it's fake and I'm waiting for the joke and I'm like, well, that wasn't funny at all. And then I'm like, hey, I promote it, I promote it so little that every time I re-promote it, they're like, my audience is like, what's this? <laughs> and, yeah. I'm just, <laughs> and I'm, I'm like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this was like right. a couple years ago. I post it once, never post it again. Uh, that's just how I am. I just be making stuff and throwing it out and then hearing about it. Pat, Pat makes some really good music though, low key. I, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I vibe to his stuff a couple times. I told yeah, him, let's get, 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 get in the studio, Pat. Yeah, I told Pat, I wanted you to do my, he's gonna do the music for my clothing line when I do the, the commercial. Well, before we do that, Okay, I'll make a few beats. <laughs> yeah, do that, man. Because I'm Mashing like, I'll be, I be watching your videos, man, and I'm looking for like when your girl do this. I'm like, there's no caption, it's not memed, it's just you playing the piano, and I don't see your hands. So I'm like, I don't know if this nigga's doing it for real or what. But oh, that hilarious! Shit? That would be a funny angle for me to take on social media. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be the first. It yeah. would not be the first. So oh, hell no. Nah. You but can go exotic the whole thing, man. Oh, People, like, no. Really you and it's not. That. Yo, why did I not know that was, wasn't was him singing until like episode three or four? Yeah, I mean, he bought all the rights from the dude. That's why the dude, he-, he But who it. does that? Who makes a video, a music video over someone else's, I don't, I just don't understand the long-term play. Who does yeah. that? I don't know, a flamboyantly gay fucking meth head tiger trainer. That's, that's who does it. I've never met any, Ron. <laughs> I, have, I, have no, I have nothing to compare that to. <laughs> listen, listen. We're, we're in the last 10 minutes of the show, so this is typically where wow. we wrap up. Um, this is where we uh, tell everybody, you give you give all your socials, where people that can find work. you. You'll also let them know um, uh, what you got coming up. And um, if anybody uh, bless you a little bit, you can say their names from the Cash App. You don't have to say how much, but this is uh, generally that time. So let's go... Um, Pat, so they'll see how to do it. Then James, then Ron, then Lou, and then I close out. Well, that's dope. A lot of a uh, lot of pressure. I always thought my <laughs> side out was trash. I didn't know. I, I, didn't, um, I didn't take notes. Hold on. What's going on, uh, everybody? I'm a Virgo. Uh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can find me at uh, Patrick Cloud on everything. Follow me on Twitch. Um, make sure you follow All Def Gaming and All, all Def if if you don't already. And uh, yeah. Okay. Anybody, <laughs> anybody, anybody, I anybody donate to Cloudy Wives? Did you want to thank Pat? Oh, my bad. Uh, yes, absolutely. Um, I would like to thank uh, uh, Pam Pamela, Lemayne, Tiffany, Irvin, Arsh, Jennifer, Lindsay, Raymond, Simon, Mari, Maria, Autumn, Shalita, Kadaja, Kadaja. Matthew, Leandra, Shamika, Shirker, Brittany. I have a lot of cool names in here. Uh, Sandy Cheeks. I appreciate Ooh. all you guys. You guys are amazing. Oh, some more coming in. Ginfine. Gin Gee, that's a lot of names. Ginfine. You guys are all amazing. Uh, join, uh, join my Twitch. Join my Patreon. Join my YouTube channel. Join my, um, join me. That's your cloud. I don't want to take up everybody else's time. All right. James Davis, what you got for us? Hey, you know what? I was over here really uh, tight in my feelings because I thought nobody had sent me money, but then I had to check my notifications. So oh. uh, shout out to uh, Pamela Jackson, Lavine Diallo, Jennifer Rebus, Miguel Bonilla, Tyler Woolley, uh, Kevin King. Hey, actually, actually, Hold up. Some of these people, I don't like that. That's not cool, man. Like they 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 really send me requests. I'm yeah, like, you gotta right. watch it. You gotta watch it. You gotta watch it. So uh I take that back, Miguel, and I take that back, Kevin, and I take oh, wait, that back. They were asking Tyler. you to send them the money. Yeah, yeah. they'll do that. They'll send yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So so uh hell no. But um I'm just kidding, you know, whatever it takes for y'all to hustle. Uh me personally, I look forward to uh just zooming with the homies some more. Getting my podcast started now that I got that hey, the homies. Hey. And uh, you know, watch my uh stand-up special live from the town. Oh. And follow me on IG and uh Twitter and you know, just just look out for uh anything James Davis related, man. I'm just really in the creative space right now, you know, in the pandemic. So, you know, just just send me positive vibes, y'all. It is. Your stand up is very funny, sir. Thank you, thank you. I, I appreciate like it. it. Yeah, I've been wanting to work with you, but you just don't return Texas. He busy, bro. 
He on Netflix, bro. He don't got time for me. It's cool. I was trying to go golf with him and everything. He don't never. It's all right. Hey, you put me on blast on Twitter like, James don't never hit nobody back. Well, now I'm not going to hit you back. And you didn't even <laughs> respond to the tweet either. You saw it, but he never even responded. I don't, I don't pay attention to negative energy out there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> oh, my all right. What you got, Ryan? Uh, you can follow me at Comedian Ron T on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube and all that stuff. Uh, I ain't got too much coming up, you know, go to YouTube, whatever I put up will be out there. Um, I'll have you know that the most money I've made all quarantine has been now. I can't go through all the notifications because I'm on my phone. Let's but, go, Ron. Yeah, this is fucking God. I, I think it's like $15, but it's the most I've made like all quarantine. So shout out to Jennifer, I believe, and uh, Tiffany. I can't read the last names right now. And I didn't realize the whole request thing, but I'm going to shout this nigga out because it's a funny name. Finesse. <laughs> Tried to finesse me out of $10. Good try, brother or sister. His name is Finesse? The name is Finesse. And oh, you should get you real quick. Oh, this is the worst robber ever. <laughs> that's, that's, it's that's just a robber. To scam somebody and your at is at scammer. <laughs> but that's true. So, Dumbass. that is. You shouldn't no. do that. That's pretty mean. And no. I do want to say this. This ain't got shit to do with shit, but I didn't give my Netflix recommendation, but the show is that dope. I think it's Love, Sex, and Ro Love, Death, and Robots. Something yeah, like that's, that. that's a little older, but that's dope. I know I'm late, but it's very good. If anybody's late like me, watch it. And that's it. Comedian Ron T. It is. Lulu, what you got for the people? Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Lulu underscore Gonzalez. I should be the first one to pop up. But if you need me every day, you can catch me on Caffeine on my daily show, 2 p.m. PST. It's called The Fix. Me and Brandon Brody, we talk about entertainment, politics, fashion, hip hop, gaming, all of that. And also you can catch me gaming on Caffeine on my own channel, I'm Tuesdays, on. Thursdays, and Saturdays. I'll be playing Call of Duty, Injustice 2, Last of Us, all that good shit. And also you can catch me on Battle Club uh, hosting. We'll be there the last episode this Wednesday. So come mm -hmm. through. But um, not really. But not really, cause we moving on. But, but not really. But not really. But yeah, Battle Club. So yeah, you can catch me all at Caffeine and all that good stuff. I'm there every day. That is. Uh, thank anybody that donated oh, to you. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Lindsay and Whitney and Jennifer, Jonathan, to Mario, Evan, J Jaliska, uh, Samina, Pamela, Lamine, Isaiah, Cedric, Sim Sim Jesus Christ. Sim 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 you know who you are. Adrian. Yeah, all, all of y'all. Appreciate y'all so much. All right. Yeah, we got so. another episode of Zooming with the Homie Small Night. And then on Wednesday, we got a new episode of Wording is Hard. We got Fuquan Jackson on that one. Uh, Fuquan Johnson on that Johnson. one. It, it's going to be ridiculous. Fu is ridiculous on that episode. Um, then two more episodes of Zooming with the Homies for the rest of the uh, app on Wednesday. Uh, we, uh, Friday, we have a new episode of mm -hmm. Listening Party. So make sure you check that out. Um, and I wanted to give a shout out to Chris, Ryan, Relly Rail. Jonathan Lemayne, Jonathan Jennifer, Lindsay, J Mo, taking the stage, Janine, Irvin, uh, Tiffany, Samana, Pamela, Zoe, uh, Devin, thank you guys so much. I appreciate that. Also, um, shout out to uh, the Rewatch Gang. It's a whole group of people that come after the fact and they rewatch the whole episode together uh, at work or some other things. So shout out to them as well. So uh, and shout out to all the more mob and as well as the scary uh, squad. Appreciate you guys. Everybody that supports damn and that you scary. Everybody sign up to the Patreon. I appreciate you guys so much. And we'll see you tomorrow on another episode of zooming with the homies. Hey, hey, to hear? Yeah. Yeah. hey rewatch gang is lit. They litty my boy. Hi. All right, y'all. Peace. See ya. Hey.